Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter weekend if you celebrate Easter. Um, Heather, I was just reading about the problems you had coming back into Canada um, with Chance, and that sounds really annoying. I'm so sorry you went through that. Um, Wendy, you can, um, if you go to our website, um, go to the available puppies page, the very top paragraph in there, my phone number is in there. Um, and if you just want to send me a text message, I can, um, go over that information with you. Um, but anyway, so it's reservation day for these guys. They turn a week old today. Or no, I'm sorry. They turned a week old yesterday. They're eight days old today. Um, so they've graduated to weekly weights. Um, usually I still get like a daily weight on like a three to 10 days old, just because seven days just doesn't quite feel like it covers it, especially when they're littler. You know, when they're bigger, like Remy's puppies, it's a little easier. Ah, oh, why are so blurry? Oh no. I think we're any light. Yeah, you don't want to put them. Or actually, can you pull that side of the curtain open first? Nope. They're like perfectly clear, far away. Uh -huh. Ooh, is it focusing on something? Or is it the blanket? There we go. Clear as day now. Yeah. Where is it like the overhead doesn't really add much light, but there we go. Uh, it does just like. Um, so I just posted a video too that kind of pulls each puppy aside. Oops, sorry. Kind of pulls each puppy aside and so you can see them up close for the for the Daisy families. Um, in speaking with many of them, it seems I think that everybody kind of has an idea of who they're interested in and in what order um and so we like to um we like to help you feel as confident as you can in your choices and so um if the video didn't help if it gave you more questions please do just um send me a message and I, i'm happy to answer questions um if there's anything further you wanted to know um oh thank you dad you're welcome and so, as we mentioned before, we're giving priority to um, the families who missed out on a Remy puppy. Um, but, if said, um, a lot of those families were looking for a Blenheim girl, and so they're going to choose to wait um, until future litters like this summer. So we will probably get through the, um, work our way down the list of Remy families quicker than we thought. Um, and we also were kind of planning for her to have five puppies. We didn't really think she was going to have six. So, um, we're pretty sure that, um, it will be opened up to, um, families beyond the Remy families. And so if you were not a Remy family, please do still go ahead and submit a reservation request if you have one. Thank you. Yeah, Miss Starburst. Yeah, Miss Starburst. She is absolutely stunning. She is. She's a little, she's a little Starburst. And um, her personality is so much like Daisy's. It, uh, <laughs> it makes me want to keep her. <laughs> she's... She's so sassy. You know. She's got a little bit of an independent streak, but she loves to be with mom and with us. A little sassy thing. Let's say good morning. Let me catch up on my good mornings. Heather was saying that when she went back into Canada with Chance, they accused her of hiding costs. After she told them how much she paid, um, okay. accused her of hiding costs and then charged her a hundred bucks. Yeah. Wait, that, like the government? The, um, you'll have to ask her for more details, but I was just reading up here. 
So then they accused me of hiding costs and I paid an extra hundred dollars for that. But let me catch up. Oh, good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Jan. Good morning, Silver Stitches. Silver Stitches, this time next week, just think about that. This time next week, next Monday, you're going to be waking up with your baby. Good morning, Aww. Mike. We will be starting the Remy stream soon after we start this one. So um, we'll get the other puppies on shortly. Good morning, JS. Aw, it makes me so sad to think about how, you know, they're, if your Cavalier is 12 and a half years old, um, I mean, I'm already grieving the day we lose Daisy and she's, you know, only three. <laughs> so I can't imagine how hard that, how hard it is to have them be so old. Linda. Good morning, Linda. I hope you had a nice Easter too. Wendy, Wendy Miller. Wendy Miller. Good morning. Good morning, Wendy. It's nice to have you. Yeah. Um, she was asking about the price, and so I directed her to uh, our website, my phone number. You know. The... Gotcha. Yeah. Yep. 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 Um, and good morning to Heather. I just got talking to you about Canadian authorities. I didn't give you a good morning. I'm sorry. Just focusing on your sock. Oh. There we go. Uh. J.S., I can't remember if I said good morning. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you come around to the side? Um, Love Pugs! Love Pugs is on. Love Pugs, we're going to get a little pug teddy bear and just put it in the background for you. Yeah. Since you love pugs. Since you love pugs. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a little pug. Oh, 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 okay. oh good idea, Dan. Yeah. I'm going to get a little pug and put it in the background. Well, hello. You know, you're going to take up the shot. Hey, Dan, good morning. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Good morning, Peggy. Oh, because you didn't declare the deposit? Uh, but you paid the deposit. That doesn't make sense because they asked you how much you spent over the weekend and you didn't spend the deposit. Oh, that would be so frustrating. That would be frustrating. That would be so frustrating. I don't know how you didn't <laughs> lose your mind with them. Oh, 13 years silver stitches um is 13. Her, her current puppy. Her oh current, wow. current cabbie. What's up? Hey Nisho's back. Hey Nisho. Hi Nisho. Good morning. Linda says, look at the brown around his mouth. I think this is so darn cute. I know, it really is. <laughs> These look so cute. Um, I've seen puppies that have like a little um have a brown marking there on their noses. Um, as adults, it doesn't always turn out the best, but his is much different. His is, um, usually they're a lot smaller, those markings on the nose right yeah. there. His, um, is like part of his face. Let me show. Yeah, he looks like a... So it's like, yeah, see? Oh, okay. Hi. It comes all the way down to his lips. It's like, it's his whole, like, cheek right here that covers his mouth. There's an upper lip. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be so pretty. He's gonna be so darn cute. Hey, Coley, good morning. Or I guess good night to you. Yeah, good night to <laughs> Say good night. Good boy. Oh, are you sniffing my hand? Is there something yummy on my hand? Good morning, Jean. Sniff, sniff, sniff. sniff, sniff. Careful. Good morning, Denvers. Oh, good boy. Um, we are always able to drive. We offer... Um, so I've been telling people we offer delivery, and I think I've been um, people are misunderstanding that as we ship. When we say that we are offering delivery now, we are personally delivering, like we're driving our vehicle to you. Yeah. Um, or we or fly or fly. Yeah. Um, we are not comfortable with putting them in cargo on a plane. Um, yeah. At eight weeks, really, at any age, to be honest. Um, they're not. They don't have their rabies vaccine yet. And we are also, um, we're going to start vaccinating them a little bit earlier so that we can finish. Their vaccines can be given as early as 42 days old, so six weeks. And so if we give it when, um, when they turn six weeks old, then we'll be able to give them their second dose in the series, which will complete the series uh, before they leave. And so then that way, their whole series, their vaccination of those core um, diseases that we want to uh, 
we want um, them to be immune from, that'll be all on board um, before they leave us. And so that way, all they'll need is rabies at that point. Good morning, Cindy. Cindy James? Um, yes, Cindy, the tries do spread their color a lot more than the blenums. Um, so like Daisy's face, the blaze on her face, Drew was a little hesitant when we first got her because he thought she was goofy looking. And I looked back on her baby photos and she was really goofy looking. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I, I, she doesn't look like what I remember her, but her blaze at the top was like from ear to ear. And then it just like came down to her nose. And so it's like an upside down triangle. Um, but it narrowed. You can look at her face and see just how much it narrowed. Uh, actually, bring her around. And you can see the Daisy Dual face. Daisy Dual head. Yeah, so her blaze right here, it was coming. <laughs> they can smell mom. <laughs> it was, so it did come out to here, and she had a big, nice white um, gap between, like, around her thumbprint. Um, which she doesn't anymore. That little gap. Now her thumbprint, it, it all bleeds into one. But the patches on their backs will spread. So like um, on Starburst, this white spot here, that will get smaller. This will get quite a bit smaller. If It'll probably barely be visible. It's very thin even if we're underneath it right there as well. Oh, staffies are so, oh, they are so sweet. I've always wanted a staffie. Oh, Staffordshire I met, Terriers? yeah, I met a, my first staffie when we did fly ball with our border collies. And they, um, her name was Katie and she, she had, her disposition was like a cavalier. She was just the sweetest little snuggle bug ever. Little bugs. You're a little snuggle bug, huh? Oh, and her name is Willow. What a perfect name for. That's a very pretty name. We were talking about doing trees next for um, puppy nicknames. She's seven years old and so sweet. JS, I agree with you. I think all of the puppies in this, um, all the puppies in this litter, when I was making the video about them, I, I kept saying like, oh, this one is super snuggly and this one is that. And I kind of realized that they, uh, to be honest, they all are. They are all really, really great puppies. And so, it's kind of hard almost to say what's different about them because they all have very yeah. similar personalities and they're all, um, good boy. Oh, good Daisy, boy, there's something about Daisy's puppies that just, do you, you, do you know what I'm trying to explain? I, there's something, um, about Daisy's puppies that they are very, um, like we always joke about, Oh my God, they're so cute. I want to eat them. <laughs> it's like this sort of like primal cuteness that you just like want to. Uh, I was talking more about like their personalities. Oh, the personalities. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, yeah, their personalities are, they all like have little, uh, little quirks about. They're all like really, they're very, um, uh, like as they grow a little bit older in her previous litters, when they reached um, like four or five weeks old, they are all very playful, but they are like sweetly playful. If that makes sense. Like they're not it, super like, rough. Yeah. Kind of like how you guys were talking about uh, Remy's litter, how they play so gently. Um, compared to Paris's litter yeah, and compared, Robin's yeah, fall litter. Yeah, exactly. Compared to those litters. Well, Daisy's litters always seem to do the same sort of thing where where they play with one another, they're just a little bit uh, nicer about it. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Who is this? That's whatchamacallit. Whatchamacallit? It's all so good. Here. Are you hungry? I'm hungry right here. And we'll be starting Rami's stream soon after Daisy's. We just wanted to start hers first since it's reservation day. And oh man, that looks so much better. Oh, oh, no. oh no, Daisy does that a lot. Or she just she means well, but she just smashes yeah, them. Just on. <laughs> They're yelling at her now. 
Mom, mom, stop. Oh, Lindor, you're going the wrong way. Open up there, Daisy. <laughs> you're backwards there. You're no, like in all, they're all in a panic. Yeah. yeah. And Snickers, I just want to put this out there. Snickers is Snickerdoodle. has been quickly risen to the top of my. He reminds me so much of Rio, and um, and here this is why. He reminds me a lot of Rio when Rio was that age, and Rio now at was he fourteen weeks old? Yeah. Rio is Rio's a lot like Theo. So I don't know if you remember Theo, but Theo was just like a cat. He just wanted to lay in your lap. Like he would be limp as a noodle laying in your lap, just asking for belly rubs all the time. And um, Rio is like pretty much exactly the same way. Um, we bring him in here in the morning. Yeah. And, um, you know, grouchy Daisy, even grouchy Daisy doesn't care. We bring him up in the bed in the morning and, you know, a lot of puppies when they've slept all night in the morning, then they're and they're excited to get up and yeah, play and, and eat that. and yeah, not Rio. He is just happy to be in here with us, and he usually crawls like if we're um, just relaxing in bed, he'll crawl up into our laps and just um, he'll just circle and um, lay down and like a donut. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he likes to get cozy, like right on our crotches. Yeah. If we're laying down or yeah. um, or like we have the backs up a little bit, he'll just come and cozy up on. He really does. And he'll just go to sleep. Like this morning, he did that uh, with me this morning where he just, he, you know, been asleep all night. But he was very, ex he was excited to come in here and be with us. But once he was up on the bed, he got cozy and he just fell back to sleep. Shape. Oh, that is a heart shape. That's Cadbury. So this is Cadbury with the heart shape. Where? That is a heart. Oh, that is a heart. Oh, my goodness. Aww. That's I never a, noticed. Yeah, that's a very cute heart, too. Well, you know, <laughs> like, you put me on a little scavenger hunt. I was like, heart shape on the back. Who's that? <laughs> um, oh, but so I, I took a video of Rio because I had Drew uh, proof watch my video that I made. And as he was proof watching it... Um, Rio came up to the phone and just just watch it really like he didn't get all excited He just crawled up to it just with his nose and he licked it a couple times and then just rested his head and just watched it Yeah, he was, he was watching the video of Like that's him excited. Yeah. He, he gets excited about something, but he's not he doesn't express it physically His excitement huh. he does not express um, That is a very good way to put it. He does not express his excitement physically I hope that makes sense. What's that? I said, I hope that makes sense. Mine had perfect thumbprint on the head and it all grew together. It doesn't matter at all. Yeah. We, um, so on that note, we were looking at um picture. Actually, I had to go back and delete videos and make room on my phone. And I saw a, like a screen capture of Rio when he was about a week old and his thumbprint on his head. It was teeny tiny, and then it had a ton of white around it. And so we were looking right at him. He was, you know, right with us. And we're going to have to go with Heather's idea. She talked about putting together an album of the puppies when they were little, like when they were born or a week old, and then how they, how their colors and markings evolved over the eight weeks. Um, the color, there's always going to be more color, and it's going to be darker. The tricolor is even more so. Chance did have a little thumbprint. <laughs> I want a berry. She's she is such a sweetie. That is a really good point, JS. That is a really, really good point about um the elderly blenums. They do have the the when they get gray in their faces, it does lighten it up. Oh, thanks, Mike. Daisy is my baby. I love everything about her. 
Oh, Silver Stitches, she's my favorite too. I'm so glad she's your favorite. I adore her. Sorry, here, bear with me for a second. Let's see if we can. You know what? I'll just leave it for now. And then I wanted to turn it so that you guys can see puppies and me and Drew while we talk to you. But we'll just leave it for now until Drew gets back, and then I'll see if he has a better idea than my current one. <laughs> Good morning, Susan. Oh, thanks, Lisa. I think she's a good mom, too. Susan, so if you go to our website, um, the, uh, the um, go to the available puppies page, and um, in that first paragraph, so I don't put my phone number on there like in text, to avoid bots from scanning our website for, you know, uh, contact info to spam. And so it's a hyperlink and it says, you know, serious inquiries, the very end of the paragraph, it says serious inquiries, please reach out here. And then it's a hyperlink. And so if you hover over it, if you're on a computer or if you're on a phone, you can tap on it and it'll show you my phone number. And so you can just um, contact me that way. It's most efficient to send me a text message because, um, for one, it's in writing. I can take a screenshot of it and I can um, like file it away really easily as opposed to like a voicemail, which is more difficult to keep track of like the information and who you are and what phone number you are just because we get so many messages and not all of them are for necessarily the current litters that we have. A lot of them will be just for um, information about future litters. And so um, I tried to identify, I identify your contact information in a certain way so that I remember uh, which litter it is you're interested in. And then um, it's just, it's a lot easier if you send me a text. And then if you wanted to um, have a phone call, we're more than happy to call you. Um, it's just easier to set up like uh, oh, through text as opposed to um, like a cold call. Usually, if, if none of fun phone number is calling us, especially on a busy day like today, we're probably not going to pick up. Um, cause we're usually oftentimes, you know, phone calls, it's like, they never come through when it's a good time to answer. So it's always easiest. It's always most efficient to send me a text message because even though, even if I can't respond right then, um, I have the information, I read it and I know that you're there. So, um, even if I don't respond right away, I am aware and, um, Drew and I kind of, we're expecting you, I guess is how I can put it. Um, and then we'll get back to you, of course, as soon as possible. And if you were interested in one of Daisy's puppies, we will be sure to get back to you ASAP. Um, do you have any ideas for setting it up so that um, we, they can see puppies and us? See puppies and us, kind of like how we will turn it and then put I would it say here. that we, we need to turn the this around. Yeah, that's what I was about. I wanted to wait for you to before so I we, screwed we, it. Or, or we, yeah, we, I would say we relocate ourselves. And oh, yeah, you know, to, we can always move ourselves and we can just use the phone. Just can't unplug can you them. unplug the light? Which light? Oh, no, no, so I can just pull away. <laughs> Who is lying laterally with their legs crossed? Um, that has to be Lindor. <laughs> what? Where? 
right there. Oh, yeah. There we go. Sorry. Um, yeah, Remy was going nuts because like her. You know, we'll just do. Yeah, like, yeah, like you said, yeah. we'll, we'll move ourselves. Instead of moving the puppies. Gosh, we're so selfish. <laughs> Always making the puppies move for us. Good girl. And now thinking about ourselves. Twist this. Can't get this to. Trying to I'm trying to do the turn and raise, uh, but I can't get it to go. I can just do one of these numbers. Yeah. Oh, that actually worked better because we want it down. We don't want it up. Um, for these purposes. Yeah. Uh, so, Remy, her. Breast tissue was in her skin. You wanna sit on your booty? Yeah, was was taut like right now? This morning. Oh, because she wasn't with her puppies all night. Oh, they're, they're, yeah. They're oh yeah. Yeah, they were yeah they're weaning in the, now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And so, um, can you uh, turn it yeah to the uh, right towards you just a little bit? Just trying to catch Daisy. Well, I guess we don't need Daisy. We just need puppies. Oh, there we go. There we go. Um, Sorry but, for the messy bedroom. We haven't made our bed yet. Yeah, <laughs> That's the pillows. Yeah. Aw. And he just says, every time I hear the names of Daisy puppies, I crave all the chocolates. <laughs> yeah. Snickers. York. Um, and okay. Susan, if you are, um, if you were going to put in a request for a Daisy puppy, we encourage, so when we say it begins at one o'clock, Remy's puppies were all selected by 45 seconds after that. Mm -hmm. And so if you, um, like, like if you really have your heart set on one, um, I would have it all pre-typed and just hit the send at one o'clock. Um, like I would be watching the second hand and I'd probably hit it before it that, gets that, the, that, 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 Well, that. it's because of the time for the transfer, you know, yeah. through the I, I understand, we don't, we don't need to be. <laughs> <laughs> giving too many tips. Yeah, giving too many tips there. Okay, you yeah. told me to stop. Oh. I'm just trying to help. I know, I know you're trying to help, I know. I know. Uh... Aw, silver stitches, that sounds nice. She says my bed is a junk pile of books and cross stitch. <laughs> <laughs> You better get that cleaned off because that, uh, yeah, for your, that, yeah. that guy is going to love, yeah, love that cross stitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cindy says, looking forward to trees, less fattening. Please don't do cookies or cakes. <laughs> <laughs> that is a brilliant idea. Or pies. Ooh. Oh, or like ice cream. What? Strikes. Neapolitan. Oh, Neapolitan. Yeah, that would be good for a tricolor. That would be good for a tricolor. Oh, that would be a, a call. A call. Uh, have it be a boy, and then call it him uh, Neo. Neo. Yeah. Oh, ooh. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um. So, is there anything you wanted to say about Reservation Day? Um, oh, if you don't hear back from us right away, don't be don't, concerned. Yeah, don't stress. Um, we, it takes us a minute, like once we get a, a big, um, you know, Baskin Robbins, Baskin Robbins, Ben and Jerry's, uh, ooh, Ben and Jerry's, Jerry Garcia. Um, so we don't, we don't respond right away, even yeah. to confirm that we received it because it yeah. takes them out of order and we want to leave them in order. Yeah. So what we do is we just, we, we don't make any responses. We might put something on the live, but we won't do it in text because, like, like Elizabeth in said. In fact, we will use the live in order to update. Yeah, we can do that. We'll do updates via the live. So, you know, have have your phone and the live going. Last, I think game. last time we we ran off into the bathroom so yeah. that you guys wouldn't hear us. Yeah. And um, we were going through a mall, and then we hopped out to let you guys know yeah. that we'll probably do the, same the puppies had all, yeah. had all been spoken for, just in case there was anybody who was. Right. Um, still trying still to about it. to, um, but, uh, so we'll give updates as we can yeah. because we know that everybody's anxiously waiting. Yeah. And so we'll try to be as quick as possible. We just try to, we don't want to, we don't want to mismatch anybody because we'd really hate for, 
we would really hate to make a mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we check and double check and triple check to make sure that like okay, we only we are only you know we only have six families, correct? <laughs> we don't have seven by chance or or something like that. So or <coughs> a puppy isn't spoken for twice. So yeah, that would be really that'd be embarrassing. It'd be like that Steve Harvey moment where he oh god the miss america yeah the miss america thing or miss universe like oh he, sorry you didn't win yeah, take he, that crown when he read the uh yeah oh, he read he, he read the runner up as the, as winner. the winner yeah oh god that is that's like that was such a cringe moment he handled that so well like he um, handled that so gracefully yeah, yeah, I, like, I hate to say this but oops. <laughs> anyway if you, if you haven't seen that then you, you should know, google it yeah, it's google, funny. yeah google at some point Steve Harvey, but, Miss America, screw up. Yeah. But um, yeah, we don't want to. What you gonna call it, buddy? Okay, bro. Okay, bro. they're all sleeping under her boot. What's this all about? What is this? Oh, I see. Did you see that? Oh, only one. One was latched. He had his mouth open. He was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't quite sure what was going on there. <laughs> She's giving me such a good girl. Look at all this milk. We were all worried about her not having any milk. Now look at it. Oh, like I said this morning, um, because Remy hasn't been with her puppies all night, her underbelly was tight, like hard. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. You, you put her in there with her. Yeah, I put her, yeah, so I picked her up, and even when I picked her up, it started squirting out all over my hands oh yeah when you pick when yeah. you pick them up when they need to nurse oh man um i'll usually pick them up with my arm like this and when you put them down you have milk just yeah. like because it just squeezes out it's really <clears throat> gross yeah yeah but when they know they're being picked up to be placed yeah. with the their puppy yeah they it's start having like, to let down yeah, I mean, it's like they start letting it go already oh remy doodle what do I call it? Um, and oh, but so anything else about reservations? Um, priorities given being, being given to Remy families, but um, but there, it will. I'm pretty sure there will be available puppies available beyond puppies. Remy families, and we will let you know. Again, we will let you know. We'll give you. A, I told that everybody to just go ahead and send their request. Yeah, that way, there's right. not like this. There's not. Like, uh, oh, wait, now we can't have Remy, or not Remy families. And okay. then it's like, right. yeah, who be, didn't hear it? And that would who, be confusing. Yeah, yeah, who knew? Who didn't know? Can you kind of hold her so that she's not falling on me while I'm getting some out? It's not really a mat. It's like dirt that... Uh, I don't think that's dirt, sweetheart. <laughs> okay, well, you could have waited until I finished. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> How about let me get you some gloves? I just wash my hands. Remy, it's okay, baby. Make sure I'm pretty hurt. So don't. That's icky, though. It's ridiculous. <laughs> the Cadbury is snuggled up so closely next to her butthole. <laughs> I'm just going to brush the rest out. Yeah, it seems like it. And this is thick. Here comes the shell. Here comes the bella bella. Where'd your little uh, um, notepad go? Did you write some oh, notes on notes? Yeah. I have no idea where my notepad is. Is that it right there? Probably not. No. That would be too easy. Be this is their easy. weights. Oh. No, it's not even their weights. Oh, yes. Oh, you want to do their weights? Yes. Um, technically, they're down to their weekly weights, but I we usually do the eight, yeah. eight days, nine yeah. days. I usually yeah. do it their 10 days. Yeah. So we'll actually get their weights real quick. Um, they finally open up their eyes. Yeah, that's a good. good. Uh, that's a good. Ooh, we should start sitting over here because this right here. Oh, yeah, bueno. 
Yeah. Very good. And you've got the, the hearth in there and I'm okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> like me? No, not like me. I was wondering if it would be. It was... Um, did you take it out? Because I don't see it. Oh, maybe I, I did. haven't seen it. Maybe I did. Take it out. There it is. Oh, my name. Oh. BRB, folks. Yeah, there it is. There she is. Miss Bella Schnella. Good morning, Bella. Hi. 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 You can pick out one piece of candy, honey, but what? One, one for now. You can have a Krabby Patty. Yeah, pick you, out that candy. Yeah, why don't you pick out one of the big Krabby Patties? It's mm, a big piece of candy. She was munching on her puppies start coming over and munching on the dry kibble. Oh, nice. He's coming right back to me. Where did my pen go? Oh, there it is. All right. Sweetie. All right. So I've got my my book <laughs> with coffee stains and all. <laughs> well, ooh, ew. hi, baby. Y'all one. You were a little aggressive. Oh there. my goodness, Heather, you're gonna love me. Omg. Ow. Heather, I found Chance's baby weights. I'm sure she has them. No, she's asking me if we had them. Oh. He was born at 1215, 222 grams. Holy cow, he was 222? Yeah, so he was smaller than Cadbury. Oh, he was. Huh. These are uh, Robin's birth weights from last fall. 222, 166, 186. Oh, 144, that was orange. 194, 228, 224, 126. Who was the heaviest? Ocho. Ocho. Uh, no, who was the heavy? Was the heaviest? Yeah. Um, would have been Chance. Or no, no, I'm sorry. Would have been um, Charlotte. Oh. Yeah, Charlotte. Huh. Interesting. Char. That's right. Oh. So Charlotte and Cheyenne. Mm hmm. Not in that other. Good morning, Stu. Stu, good morning. Who else are we going to see? So, six of the Oh, wait. John, uh, uh, cool. Cindy, if he likes, if he doesn't mind the nail file, have you heard of a nail, um, a Dremel? It's basically a spinning nail file. <laughs> kind of like the ones that you see at the nail salon that they use to, um, oh. to put on artificial nails. But it's basically a, a spinning, I'm sorry. I think the camera is up over there. But it's, we have one. I can't, I don't know where it is. We need to find it. They're not expensive. But it's just, it's, ex oh, it's basically the same thing as the, that they have for people. But it's a little nail file, uh, a little round 
thing that spins, and so you just put it up to their nails, and it just files them down. And so if Chance, um, or I'm sorry, if, if Louis is good with the nail file, um, I'll bet the, the Dremel will... The Dremel would probably be a little patty. quicker and more efficient. There you go, Patty. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll... It's just redburncavaliers.com. www.redburncavaliers.com. <laughs> sorry. Do we ever have a black and tan pup? Man, we really hoped we were going to have one in Remy's litter. No, we really don't. Um, no. Robin's next litter, we're going to pair with Macchiato, so yeah. hopefully we'll have some black and tans in yeah, her litter. Fingers crossed. And Robin... We're going to be, Macchiato is um, coming up to bat here quite a bit. I think we're going to be pairing him um, more. <laughs> here, why don't you go sell the bed, sweetheart? He has such nice puppies with Remy. Oh, careful. Yeah, fingers crossed. <clears throat> um. I don't have anything on <laughs> Come sit down. You are. Oh, she wanted that's right. Weights. Okay. All right. Who we got up? Uh, I believe the first is Watch Him Hall. Oh, my God. Daisy, you know how to do Daisy. 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 Yeah, there's another one right there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Whatchamacallit. Wait, is this the right maybe this isn't the right one? Chance. Three week, one pound, eleven ounces. Nice. Maybe like looking at oh, the bottom patty. Well hey, don't hey, it's teasing her. Don't, yeah, tease, don't her, tease her, sweetie. Her, Okay, so his weight yesterday was 366. Dang, 402. Eh, four, call it 404. Well, so it doesn't do odd numbers, and so when it switches yeah. from 02 to like, it, like it, that, I think it's 03. Well, it was 02 to 06. Oh. So okay. that's why I called it, it 404. 404. I'm going to abbreviate his nickname as Butchama. So WMC. WMC. WMCI. Which one called it? Oh yeah, WMCI. He yeah. sounds like an insurance company. <laughs> or like the YMCA. Or a holiday. Yeah. Or a holiday. A hospital. A hospital or, yeah. um, or a hotel. <laughs> WMCI. WMCI. WMCI Incorporated. <laughs> You're funny. You're actually a boy. Oh. So, is this going to be SB, like Starbucks? Nice. Ooh, Starbucks drinks. Oh, that'd be fun. That would be a fun one. Espresso. Or just Macchiato. Co coffee drinks just in general. Oh, yeah. I know. Oh, Macchiatos are a general coffee drink. Hey, and you. Oh, yeah. Ready? I like those. Oh, yeah. You I know. Them. You love Macchiatos. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Let's hold on. Okay, and so Cadbury. Oh wait, you're on Starburst. Starburst. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry, you Cadbury. Oh. Yeah. I like said Starburst. Well, I was writing Starburst. Then. So Cadbury is next, and she was 428 yesterday. 458. 458. Yay! So now it's Starbucks. Uh, Starbucks was uh 400 even. Yeah. That. That was, so yesterday she was 376. And that, that, that's the bell bee. That's the bell bee. 396, yeah. She gained 20, exactly. That's the bell baby. Yes, it is the, the bell baby, you're right. I love it. Who's next? Okay, York yeah. is next. Yeah. Shh. Um, yesterday she was 312. Daisy. <laughs> 340. Oh, Miss York, you're doing so well. Good job, Miss York. She is so she's also quickly, quickly becoming a favorite, but each like when they're all my favorite. Um Lindor. Lindor. She's three forty two yesterday. You look like a little Dalmatian. Yeah, I was like a Dalmatian. Like Dalmatian. No, I don't think you guys did it. Three forty two to three sixty four. Twenty two. 
I like that girl. Girl. I think that's a pretty girl. I love how almost all of them, they have the brown on their cheeks extending all the way down. And I'm going to show you what I mean so so you can see on an adult what I'm talking about. So Daisy, her brown is just right there. I like to say that it looks like blush. Um, but most of her puppies, the brown keeps coming to about here. And so I call that the donut nose because um, they end up looking like they have like a ring, a white ring around their noses. So, um, uh, you just made it a white hole. The, the, white, the white is the. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, I'm talking about the, the white yeah. circle. It just yeah, looks like I gotcha. a, um, And so you can see that her, her brown is just like a little patch right here, but a lot of them. So, like this Cadbury here. So if she was going to have just Daisy's patch, this little round part, when Daisy was a puppy, all she had was that brown right there on that round. I'm like closer. When Daisy was a puppy, Don't do that. that little patch she has right there that I call her blush, it was this spot that's right here. And so all this brown here is the extra. <laughs> <laughs> dogs, oh, the dogs have no modesty for, uh, for no the live chill. stream. <laughs> no chill, zero chill. Um, but it just it adds a lot of color to their faces, and it um, I think it's really pretty as they grow into it because it really rounds out their faces nicely. Um, Paris, Paris has her chestnut coming down like that, so to help give you kind of an idea of what the snap looks like, um, you can look at Paris. Or pictures of Paris. Hi, sweetie. Okay. Snickers, uh, just Snickers. Way, just way so he, he was is. 384 yesterday. And today he was 420, bro. 420, bro. 420. Yeah. Good job there, though, mister. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry, I was talking in the middle of something. Get the live going. Good morning. Good job, Snickers. All yeah. right. So everybody. <laughs> weights, bro. Oh, 20. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Um, <clears throat> so at eight days old. So he's going from 196 to 420. 420, bro. Can you take this seriously? <laughs> I'm taking it so seriously, bro. Miss Lindor went from 178 to 364. Dang. York went from 178 to 340. Starburst went from 208 to 396. Cadbury, 238 to 458. She nearly doubled. Wow. WMCI, 194 to 404. Nice. Wow. Which one call it? Which one call it has doubled. 194 to yeah. 404? Yeah. yeah. It's more than double. Mama, I, I it's, so, it's, so it's dead. 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 Oh, did you drop this? It's like your um, muscles. Like, like oh, like you've been doing sit-ups? Yeah. No, not not like that. Oh, well, let's, 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 can we talk about it a little bit later? Right now we're, today's reservation day, so we're trying yeah. to. Yeah. We're building you up. Don't like, you yeah. don't want it? I thought oh. you love Krabby Patties. I don't like any of them. Oh, you don't like the big ones? Oh, I can trade you the big ones for the little ones. Can we can we chop it? What can if we, we made it up a for small crab? Yeah, why don't we chop it up and made it into small pieces, and then you saved them in a baggie. What about that? Here, have this candy. You like this uh, candy? Look, oh, Bella, is that good? It's a big daddy bite. Oh my. Lindor. Okay. Um. Anything else about reservations? 
Oh, send it right away. Um, yep, send it right away. Send if you're us. not a Daisy family, go ahead and send it anyway. Wait. Um, uh, or no, 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 no. If, if you're, you're not a Remy family. If you're not a Remy family that missed out yeah. on a Remy puppy. So go ahead and send it because we're probably going to have, um, I'd probably estimate maybe two. Two, two to three. choose from. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe three. Um, Please only send. Yeah, only send uh, the, ones that you're serious about. Yeah, the puppies that you're serious about. Don't just rank them from I like the most to I like the least. Just uh, please send, and it's okay. It's like it's not a big deal if you only. There's only like. There's only two that two, you're interested yeah, in. Yeah, there's only two that you're interested in. That's hey, and that you is. You don't want a backup if, yeah. if if neither are available, and you don't want a backup beyond that. That's fine. Yeah. Um, but, like it is totally okay. We we. Uh, we want you guys to be happy with uh, the puppies that you are adopting. That's what they call it, adopting. But well, I feel like it's. I hate calling it buying because you're still. Even, like, you're not. It's a. It's part of your family. Exactly. Right? You know, <laughs> you're not. It, so, it is an yeah, adoption. So. You're, you know, I understand that we're rears, but you buy a car. Yeah. You. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you buy a car, but you're adopting a puppy because you're going to put so you much. Buy love. things that you use and. Right. That you, <laughs> use and <laughs> use and not that word. <laughs> Things that you use and they wear out and need to replace. You know, TVs, furniture. Right. You buy those carpeting. In, in, inanimate objects. Yes, inanimate objects. Yeah. Yeah. But a puppy, you aren't. I don't think it's buying. I think it's adopting. Yeah, um, a member of your family. Um, exactly. And our dogs are also um, like. I don't know where I was going to go with that. <laughs> well, I know where I was going to go with that, but I can't. I don't have the words to put it out there yeah. well, so I'm just not going to try. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, so so what we you know we, what we want is for you guys to pick out the puppy that you feel you are going to uh, love the most, or you know, I don't say the most, but you're going to they're going to come to your home and they're going to be a part of your family, and if you were to put them all in order and maybe you were able to get a puppy that you weren't so wild about then it's going to be um you know it, that puppy being at home it won't be the same i don't want to say the same love but it'll be um you might not be as thrilled so it's 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 okay we totally understand so uh, bella um please stop thank you um <laughs> We were yes. swinging bags. Okay. Here, Bella, do you want to? Um, oh, your... Let me take care of it. Yeah, I was just Eric. That's fine. It's okay. Yeah. Do you want your iPad, sweetie? Nobody, a lot of people around. <laughs> Um, it might be hard to tell. Well, actually, you might be able to see it on the camera. <laughs> yes. Uh, who is that? I, I can't help myself. I have to pet them. Someone says I can't help myself. <laughs> oh, it, that is on the island in the kitchen, sweetie. Thank you. Well, you're welcome, sweetie. I love you. Trust cards. Oh, okay. <laughs> trash cans. Yeah, it's um, right above the real trash can on the island. So, um, uh, oh, okay. um, so the blue merle puppies, 
We've got Lindor has, is displaying the blue Merle. Uh, York has it. And then um, uh, Snickers has it. And of all of them, Snickers, it's really interesting. Uh, Elizabeth and I were talking about it yesterday. Uh, we've never seen a blue Merle where the, the dark color is so light. It's almost um, like in the right light, it kind of looks like there's a little bit of brown in there. Like he has, Elizabeth said, it looks like he has low lights, like you know, for uh, people who have their hair done, you know, you can get highlights or you can get low lights. Um, and so it kind of looks like he has low lights. I was wondering if you could see that in the on on screen, and it, you might be able to, where there is just like a like a hint of brownish color. Um, and I shouldn't really say brown; I should say more kind of like um, the liver color from a uh, uh, blenheim. Uh, but so I would say, let's see here. Um, York is the darkest of the. Uh, uh, York is the darkest of the. Um, uh, I know the about a game of trash pickup. Uh, very nice. Um, and then from there, Lindor is a little bit lighter, and then. Uh, hey, look what I found! Is the lightest. Oh, there it is. There's that silly remote. The Anybody else lose your remotes on the regular? On, on the. On regular. the daily. Yeah, on the daily. Uh, <laughs> I was telling everybody, I was wondering if you could see it on uh, on their screens at home, um, how Snickers has like almost like a brown hue. Yeah, uh, yeah, we were talking about that. Yeah. Um, York has it too. I was just saying, York has it too. It almost looks like um, like brown low lights. I, I, that's, I just said that to them. I was like, uh, they, it looks like they have uh, a little it's, bit of brown low lights. You have to area. like... You, if you know to look for it, and you can kind of see it when you're looking, if you're looking at their brown and just kind of glance over to oh. the other colors, you can kind of see it pick up. Yeah, that, that, I, that's trying to describe it. And it is, it's almost like if you took some of their brown color they have on their cheeks and then just lightly dashed it into the black, that's what yeah, it kind of like looks like. And you can even yeah. see it kind of on the outline. Yeah. See right here. Oh yeah, you can't kind of see the brown. So it is brown. Wow. Yeah, there is brown in there. We're not just seeing things. That's crazy. That's so cool. And it's even a little darker in some spots. Yeah. It's like brighter, I guess. Yeah. I, good job noticing that, like on the edges where yeah. it's. That's crazy. So it really is throughout there. Huh. It's so pretty. It is. It is really pretty. Like before, they were just kind of grayish. Yeah. Oh, and something I wanted to point out because I just love it. I noticed in the video, but I, I you know everybody's not going to watch the video. But Cadbury's rear end is so darn cute because this side it's all white right here, like on her butt and down her leg. And then on her tail, she's half black, half white. And then she's got the white booty, or I'm sorry, the black booty, and the black all the way down to the black leg. And so it's a bit of like a yin yang butt. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yin yang rear end. She has a, yeah. A yin yang for rear end. She has a, a yin yang booty. And then she's got the heart that Mike pointed out. That's awesome. Heart. Um. <laughs> yin yang booty. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Hi, sweetheart. It's okay. It's okay. Everyone's fine. Oh, yeah, I'm so tired. Fall asleep? Yeah, I'm falling asleep. Man. Went to bed. Well, I woke up a couple times last night. Did you hear? Well, you were sleeping a good majority of... Um, or no, no, no. no you, you were both awake. No, yeah, we were awake. Uh, I don't uh, remember that I probably fell asleep. Yeah, you fell asleep last night. You fell asleep pretty, pretty early last night. But I did uh, kind, of, kind of drowse or... Doze. Jeez Louise. Sleep, sleep, yeah. Oh, but you know what? Should be looking at comments. Or at the 
uh, the chat. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let's see here. So. Aw, Kelsey showed the video to her students. <laughs> she says every preschool student said he has wings. <laughs> so it's not just me that sees them. Because no. I think. In line of what markings look like, I think that he appears to have angel wings. See the markings on us. Back right there, and then they, they connect right here. Oh they my like gosh, it really does. That, it um, does kind of look like that. Like kids wear. Yeah. I see here where Cindy, Cindy Jacob said, uh, if you ever find Louis Birthweight. There's Dewey's. Dewey, Dewey. Let me actually. Louis Birthweight. Louis Birthweight, yeah. That's trickier. <laughs> yeah, that one's trickier. Uh, uh, let's see. Heather says that York is her favorite. York is really pretty. Uh, Silver stitches. So oh my gosh, they're all they're all amazing. Silver stitches. My Monty has big blushes of brown on his cheeks. I have a funny story about about Monty. Uh, Susan, you guys are so cute. Such a great call. Oh, thank you. Uh, I wonder what it would, oh, it's me being silly about the. the Sports money, <laughs> and you're like, please stop. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. <laughs> oh, let's see. Drew yes, well, yesterday I went out to the um, living room and Bella got this toy from uh, the Easter Bunny, the big garbage truck, and uh -oh. it was dark and I stepped on it and it <laughs> hurt like like stepping on a Lego. <laughs> And I come in and I was like, oh my god, I just stepped on um, Bella's dang garbage truck. And Drew's, his response was, did it break? <laughs> not not my foot, no, the truck. Is the oh, truck okay? Is the truck okay? She just gotten it. She was so excited about it. But my foot is my only foot I'm ever going to have. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Right. How much love I you. love the Bella Chanel. Oh, let's see. Peggy says, Drew cracks me up. He's been sniffing too much puppy breath. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. You guys are funnier than he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love you. Thomas says, puppies are... Me laugh. Yeah, I love you, too. I love you, too. You make me laugh, too. There have been so many times where... It, like, I'm not a funny person. Um, but you have you have your moments where you drop some. No, you're not of, funny. You just have your moments. <laughs> oh, you, like you have some really awesome moments where you drop like something that's just crazy deadpan. And is that oh, those are pups. Uh, those are pup kids. That sounds like a Rio. Yeah, a jealous a, Rio. A jealous Rio or a um, maybe a. I'm so glad that my babies didn't pull in my nipples like this. <laughs> Um, Thomas says that uh, puppy is family, so I imagine he's saying like puppies are about family. The adoption, yeah, about the adoption. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, so just, my dogs have all been on the furniture. Amy still sleeps on my bed and mm -hmm. uh, sleeps on my bed day and night. Uh, I cannot do without her. Is it when Daisy doesn't have puppies? So she sleeps in our bed all the time, even when she's not pregnant, and when she doesn't have puppies during the day. She just lives in our bed. She like I'll will walk, you know, through the dining room and look down the hallway and Daisy will just be propped up on the bed on, you know, a pile of like a we have a folded blanket at the end of the bed and she makes a throne out of it. And she just stays there all day except to use the potty tray to eat. Yeah. Or to hunt for me. Yeah, to hunt for you. Yeah. <laughs> or she's following you around. Yeah. Uh let's see. Yeah. They're so loyal. Like they, they just are very loyal. they lock on to you and they just want you to be happy. So for life's mission. Yesterday I put Spike outside uh like by himself for mm -hmm. a little bit while I was doing yeah, that's when I was doing the trash. And so I took the trash cans down to the curb and then when I was coming back, he waited for me at the edge of the fence. Mm -hmm. And then he just walked back with me right at like his yeah. snout at my heat, like at mm. my leg line. So. It's like when even I pointed out to him the yeah. other day, we we're walking down the stairs 
and we've talked before, I don't know if many of you have heard because it's just kind of been sporadically, but we try to, because we have so many dogs in our house, we really try to respect their hierarchy. And so we, because when we do that, then they can kind of police themselves. Um, the alpha, so alpha female Missy and the alpha male Spike, more Missy though. Um, she kind of, she really like regulates things and everybody listens to her and it's very harmonious. Yeah. But um, we do that, so we like, in, it's so ingrained in their heads that we're walking down the stairs and um, one of the big things that we do is that we always walk through door, the more dominant ones, so us and the kids, always go through a doorway before we let the dogs through and if we're walking with them, they're not allowed to go past us like he was just describing. They're they're not supposed to, a lot of times they will go running. Yeah, they'll go run around. Um, but we were tucking Bella in, and Daisy was following us up. And um, as we came walking down the stairs, we were, you were going kind of slow. Yeah, I was going slow. <laughs> you were just slow. kind of sauntering. And it wasn't fast enough for Daisy. So she was like walking down, but she had to go faster. And so he was going so slow that she was walking on each step back and forth. <laughs> back forth yeah. So that then she could walk down the next, so she could step down the next <laughs> one. And waiting for him, she just walked along a step and then stepped yeah, down, down and then along the step and yeah. down. Because she's trying to, this is a much more submissive dog, and she wants to respect our health status. Yeah, she does a very good job of respecting us as the, the, the top tier. So, the Drew's like, what? Daisy, come on. And so, it's like, no, she's trying to be she's good. To be good. Yeah. She's being a good girl. Uh, he can't help himself. He has to pet them. So I, there was that one point where uh, the puppies were here, and you had gotten up with Bella. Oh, yeah, it was with uh, with Bella. I, I didn't mean to embarrass Bella like that and feel terrible. Right. Yeah, but um, I started petting the puppies. I don't think she was embarrassed. I think she she said she was bored. Oh. Um, cool thing. Yeah. Uh, I think it's louder than she's used to. Yeah. Before I seen. The, like silver color on one of them. Oh. 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 Yeah. Okay, Stu. Uh, so you're talking about the uh, the blue merles. It kind of looks like a silverish color. Yeah, I can understand. Like that's what you're seeing through the through your uh, monitors or your on your screens, basically. Uh, let's see, Thomas again. Uh, what is the brown and white's name? So this is uh, what you call it. <laughs> That's uh, so all the puppies. Have, he'll have a new name soon. Yeah, he'll have a new name soon. But we kind of give them nicknames between now and when um, families pick their names, or when families tell us what their names are going to be. Um, and this is just the nickname that we gave uh, him. We we usually try to do a theme, and uh, this litter's theme is candy bars. And so we have like you know, Snickers. Voted or, for by you guys. Yeah, or I guess I shouldn't say candy bars, candies. Candy. Yes, yeah, because you've got Starburst. Uh, uh, Lindor, um, York, or Peppermint Patties. Yeah, so um, May came up with whatchamacallit. We're like, oh, that's that's, <laughs> that's awesome. Really, yeah. especially for the only Blenheim. Yeah, exactly, for the only Blenheim. So he's, yeah, this is a, a Blenheim if you're on a. Like, Which I, this morning, shortened to WMCI. Yes. Whatchamacallit <laughs> is WMCI. Uh, let's see. Uh, Still Stern One, have you ever. Oh, that's Jackie. Oh, okay. Have you ever had a dog puppy uh, come, so come back because the new family couldn't keep it for some reason? No, yeah, not not knock on wood. Um, we have With not... that said, though, we always uh, make sure every family knows for the lifetime of the dog, we will always take them back, no questions asked. Yep. Um, if something happens, I mean, we know of all people that your entire life can change in a moment's notice without yep. any warning. And um, me, I'm referring to when our son was born. And we were expecting a perfectly healthy baby, and he was born with tons of medical needs. And we even, t at the time, we said, if it's a good thing we don't have a dog, because if we had a dog, we would have to be rehoming this dog right now. And so we understand that um, even if you're planning on um, ha like having your life with your dog, that things do happen. For younger couples or families, we'll um, use the example of like allergies and kids. Um, and sometimes just unfortunate things happen and we don't, we don't want you to be in a situation where you're dealing with something that's erupted in your life and then also having to worry about what you're going to do with your dog. And we don't want any of our puppies to end up in a shelter or have to, you know, we don't want to take up a spot in a rescue. 
Um, and so we will take them back no matter how old they are. We will take them. Um, even if we can't find a home for them, we will just keep them as pets yeah, because yeah, we exactly. love our puppies are great. Yeah, they're great. So yeah, that's uh, we want everybody to understand that if you can re like if you were yeah. re homing that like if you had um, a mom or a sister or a friend that yeah you know, that would be happy to take them we wouldn't interfere with that either yeah yeah um, we just don't want we don't we want you to feel comfortable that if something were to happen you know because dogs live for a long time that we will be here for you <laughs> and. Um, you, you don't have to explain everything. It's your business. Um, yeah. We, but we, we just don't want them to end up in a shelter yeah. or. Uh, um, it's taking up a rescue spot. Rescue. Yeah, exactly. Because they need, in the, in the rescues, they need foster homes. And yeah. we used to, when we were a foster home, we would get, we had like a, a bit of a waiting list where we couldn't take another one until um, one got a home. No. Uh, let's see. Um, we put them all down because we knew we would love. Oh, this is uh, Mike. Oh, yeah, uh, Mike and Susie. We put down all the names because we knew that we would love any one of them when we got uh, when we got our. Your Kiwi. message was so sweet when you guys yeah. um, sent it for Kiwi. By the way, I just mm -hmm. wanted to mention that to you, Mike. I don't know if I ever did, but um, yeah. your message when we got your request he and i were all we were so stressed out yeah. and we read your message and you were so reassuring just like we'll be happy with any of them and, and we were just know. like yeah. oh thank yeah. god it was, yeah <laughs> it was really wonderful to read that because because you know everyone has like you know they're like oh man i really wish we could get you know puppy x um but when you have and most litters there's like one or two puppies yeah that everybody, just, everybody wants. wants um so but uh, remy's litter it was pretty even I think so. The oh, families who didn't get first pick got their second pick. Yeah. Mike was the only one who didn't get the second pick. Yeah. What you got in your pocket there? So, yeah. nothing. No, I'm not. Want to see that? Uh, let's see. Susan, uh, laughing is important in uh, in a marriage. I should know my husband. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, my husband and I have been making, or I'm sorry, my husband has been making me laugh for 33 years. Aww. That's awesome, Susan. Uh, uh, Thomas. Well, his striptease dance from the bathroom was funny. He will never live that down. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, was um, I only realized yeah, yesterday, yesterday that it was. That he was actually literally naked from like head to toe. I thought it when the way he described it, I thought he was wearing a shirt that mm -hmm. was just kind of extending down past the granal area. I didn't realize that he just had a bunched up t-shirt in front of his <laughs> in front of his junk. That's embarrassing. I see why. So now you see why I was now blushing I so hard. Now why you yeah. were so mortified. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yeah, you'll never look that down. Yeah. So you just gotta lean into it. It'll all be okay. I'll lean into it. I will lean into it. Um. Oh, hey, they're old enough for you to hold. Oh, uh, Stu asks, uh, can you bring in Vienna and Rio? I haven't seen them in a while. Yeah, we Oh, we'd it. love to. Yeah, we'd do that in a second. <laughs> we get down, Mama. <laughs> Uh, Susan, uh, we joke that we have been married for 33 years, and it feels like 33 minutes underwater. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that's funny, Susan. Uh, Jean Linky, when <laughs> you guys Drew, are so funny. Yeah, when Drew is cuddling pups, it uh, already shows that they're personalized. Oh, thank you. Just talking about that's good. Uh, just when Drew is cuddling puppies. It, Shows uh, yeah, that, how, how we're you know, sweet to each other. I was so worried about Drew's nose yesterday when he was playing with Audrey. No bites, <laughs> just kisses. Drew uh, is better if you just smell the breath of little puppies yeah, <laughs> instead of be sticking my nose into their mouth. <laughs> uh, That's sweet. I do smell sweet. Um... Let's, how about I set a timer on your iPad and then I'll come in when the timer's up and you can come get me, okay? Daddy and I are just gonna chat for a little bit and then 
and then I'll complain. Let me see where we're at. Okay. Okay. Hi, Macy. How are you? Hope that you are uh, having a good Monday morning. Yeah, Jason, uh, the daisy pups are growing pretty fast. They're gaining a lot of weight, uh, which is awesome, 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 especially since uh, Daisy is, is on the smaller side of a Cavalier. Aren't you, sweetheart? Aren't you, sweetie? You know, small, but that's okay. You're like the perfect uh, kitty, kitty dog. I was going to put in 15 minutes and she wanted to eat. Uh, then I go out and play a garbage truck. Oh, uh, I see. Garbage pickup. Uh, well, we'll garbage get, pickup with Bluey. Get through these real fast. Uh, um, so. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Me too. Uh, let's see. Uh, Silver Stitches. That is why I'm slightly terrified and anxious over. Uh, is it Nisa? That? Yes, it is Nisa. Nisa? I, I asked yesterday. Okay, because I know that things are going to change drastically. The last new pet I got was a kitten, and they are not uh, so life changing as a dog. <laughs> uh, I think that with Cavaliers are a lot. Yeah, there it's like a, a toned down yeah. version from what. It's not that your life has to accommodate them; they accommodate your life. I yeah, think, like so we. We the way we explain it to families when they pick up their puppies is that um, for one we send them home with all kinds of stuff to try to keep to try to minimize how much is changing at once. Um, so we give them enough food so that they don't have to switch over for a while. Um, and we give them all kinds of things that we rub all over mom. Um, usually with all the sorry oh. usually with all the FaceTime and the visits and the um, having T-shirts sent. Um, they recognize their smell and know them. And so we, we tell families that when their puppies go home with them and their whole environment changes, we encourage them, one, if they can do like a pen setup that's similar to what they've known, that will help a lot. Um, especially with their potty training, if, if you can get a pellet tray. Now, I know Nisa doesn't um, necessarily have all that, but... As far as our puppies go, um, we encourage families if they have the means to um, do a similar pen setup because that will help them um, transition. It'll help them transition, and then beyond that, because of the relationship that they've developed with you, they look to you for guidance. They look to you for um, what what they're supposed to do and the rules of the house. Um, like when we brought home Missy, our our first Cavalier puppy. She, we, we were very underwhelmed because <laughs> we were expecting this like bouncy, crazy puppy. Like, and oh she God. was, we looked at her and she acted like um, a, an adult dog. Yeah, she, she didn't, like a four year old dog. In yeah, a she, body. she didn't do like the, the puppy crazy, you know how they just like get sometimes they'll, um, it's like they get high <laughs> <laughs> and they just, they're, they act crazy. And Missy never had that. And yeah. so we, um, but we find that so usually um, puppies, in our experience, from what families have reported to us, and this is just the families who have gotten back to us, um, but they've said that they, they adapt really well. And um, I think having that pen and they can put the items that smell like mom and litter mates in their pen. Um, and it really helps the potty training to have the tray nearby so that um, if you have a potty tray, it really helps prevent indoor accidents because if they have to go potty and they're indoors, um, they can't hold it. They will seek out that tray because yep. they don't want to potty um, where they live. Um, yeah, it's just it's all about trying to minimize the stress that they are undergoing when they move to a, a new location. Like minimize how much has to change at once. Yeah, and exactly. so. 
and like we, we suggest that you, if you're going to switch food, um, we usually suggest that you keep feeding them what they've been eating that we, when we send it home with you, um, just keep giving that to them for a good week, week and a half as they adjust um, to everything around them. Um, and then you can start switching it over. It's not like that big of a deal, but it's just one more thing that, um, that doesn't have to interrupt, I guess. Uh, how old will your puppy be when it comes home, Silver? Okay, so she'll be eight weeks. Uh, That's um, state law in most states, eight weeks old. Well, she's always, she's sort of such as uh, England, right? Yeah, yeah, but I'm just saying, like in, in the US, it's US, yeah. state law in most states that you can't separate puppies from mom um, yep. before eight weeks. And I think it might be law in all states. I, I, mean, I believe so. Uh, Joanne, could you make a profile of your own? Uh, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, Macy uh, Jorgensen, Jorgensen says hi, everyone. Or, hey, hey, Macy. Everyone. Good morning. This morning. Oh, it is. Yeah. Jason Hoffman says Daisy's pups are growing so fast. They are. Your milk is magic. <laughs> JS says Daisy looks done. <laughs> <laughs> She's finished. Uh, Our girl is small too. How much does Daisy weigh normally, Jason Hoffman? She's Ten or eleven pounds. Yeah, she's usually she's like, yeah. not pregnant and she's fit. Yeah, like in shape, and she's not underweight or overweight. She's about like ten and a half pounds. Yeah, she like she's, she's just the, she's like the perfect size. Yeah, she is she is small but not like. Toy, toy chihuahua, little tiny chihuahua. Such a good girl. I love you. I can't wait to have you back. Uh, uh, Hi, still kind of struggling, but hanging in there. Oh, I asked her how she was doing. I hope uh, to see the doctor soon to see if I need a surgery. Oh, hopefully, yes. We hopefully you don't need surgery, Macy. Uh, I describe my cavalier as a breathing stuffed animal. JS, that's yes. the, yeah, that's, that's I, what you hear all the time. They look like stuffed animals. They look like stuffed animals. I, so when we got Spike, um, I have a picture, or I took a picture of him and he was sitting on our stairs and I sent it to my mom and she sent me uh, a he message. He didn't clarify that we got a new puppy. I, I didn't clarify that I got a new puppy. I just sent her a picture of Spike and Spike was eight, nine weeks old. And she messaged me back saying, "Why are you sending me the picture? Yeah, what's what's the picture? Or why did you send me a picture of a stuffed animal?" And we we laughed about it, and then uh, sent her or like sent something back saying, "No, that's our new uh, puppy. His name is Spike, and blah blah blah." So, so she didn't have a name for a few weeks because Bradley wanted yeah. to name him Spike, and we were like, mm, yeah. "That doesn't fit." Yeah. And then we couldn't come up with a name. And just, we're terrible at names. Yeah, but then he started. Bradley insisted on Spike. Like, yeah. And Bradley was he was he was pretty he was like six or five. He was pretty young. Yeah. And um, finally, we just started calling him Spike because like three weeks had gone by. Yeah, and yeah, he and didn't have a name. We still didn't have a name for him. Yeah. Now I can think of names, but yeah. I still like to change it. Let's see. Wasn't, uh, yes, uh, continues, uh, wasn't disruptive as a puppy or through life. That's a good way to put it. They're not, not destructive. Disrupt no, disruptive. Oh, disruptive. disruptive. But, that, but not, yeah, yeah, so, um, uh, they are not like Miss the, um, Rio. There's puppies that, um, it almost seems like they, like kids, like they can seek out anything that they can find they shouldn't and destroy it. And all of our Cavalier puppies, like Rio and Vienna, they're just interested in playing with the other dogs, and finding new toys. Like they kind of they self-regulate really well. I don't, I don't know how. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not really just from good. the pack because Missy was that way, and she was our first one. We had yeah. no other dogs. Yeah, when she was by herself, she was she was really good. Yeah. Like, all right, so Missy's our Ruby. Um, she hasn't been on in a while because she. Her last letter was um, over the summer last year, and so she'll be having her next letter this summer. Heather says uh, that's what people describe Chance as. That's, that is true. Chance was Chance like that. Pants. Yeah. Chance Pants. Chance uh, Pants. 
Mrs. Uh, Chance of the Cutie. Uh, let's see. Aw, Daisy, do you want to come snuggle? She's like, I don't mind if I do. My daughter asked why cockers seem to sleep a lot. I told her it's because they were originally bred as bird dogs, so tended yeah. to rest in between bursts of activity. That's right. Thomas. That's a really that's a very 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 good explanation. Yep. Uh, he says I don't I don't know whether it's true or not. Uh, Silver Stitches, thank you for your advice. I have to go. Oh, Silver Stitches, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Oh, no, I hope we didn't miss you. Yeah, Bye, yeah. Silver. Bye, Silver. I look up at the computer so we're going to see our I know. audience. I'll see, yeah, I see them there. Yeah. Oh, that's I think. Yeah, I keep looking at the camera. Oh, right. See, I missed the camera. I look up there. Yeah, there. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow, she's smaller than ours then. Uh, oh, this is Jason saying, uh, our Holly weighs about 14 pounds. Maybe ours isn't such a small dog after all. Yeah, uh, I mean, 14 pounds is a little bit you know, smaller. Yeah, that's, that's for, still small. Yes, yeah, yeah, smaller for a Cavalier, but it, uh, uh, Daisy is significantly... She's an extra small. Yeah, exactly. She's an extra small XS. Cavalier. XS. We actually um, realized we should um, bring her out because we tell people, you know, she's really small, she's petite, and Remy's big, and, like, it's not... When we say, when we use those adjectives, um, I think we get misunderstood kind of easily because we don't, we're not very clear that um, when we say that, you know, Daisy's small and Remy's big, we mean like specifically for a female cavalier, yeah. not really like in the general sense of a dog. Um, and so with the last family that came over, we realized, oh, we should bring out both Remy and Daisy so that they can see, you know, the difference. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, seeing them side by side, she's not significantly smaller. She's just kind of like more compact. Oh, you don't want to snuggle me. She's such a good mom. She shows what a good mom she is. Oh, let's see. Just, uh, yeah. Also not destructive, never touched a thing. Thomas, Daisy wants some more belly rubs. She will always <laughs> take belly rubs. Jason Hoffman, ours is our first cavi, and we will definitely be getting another. Awesome, Jason. Uh, where we'd you, love to raise one for we, you. Yeah, we'd love to raise one for, for you. Where where do you live? Uh, if anybody can reach out to Nate Burleson. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, we should do, do our call to action. Yeah, call to action again. Nate Burleson. We were big fans of Nate Burleson. Yeah. And um, he's an anchor on CBS Mornings. Yeah. We watch him every day. He's a former NFL player. And I don't care for sports. <laughs> and um, he's a really great anchor. And when we first started watching the CBS Morning Show, I like rolled my eyes. Because I was like, what are they doing with an NFL player on here? Yeah. And but he's so like fair and balanced, and if any conversation gets leaning one way, he always redirects it back to the middle. Yeah. And he'll bring up like he'll play devil's advocate when it's appropriate. And um, he completely changed my whole perception mm -hmm. of of the whole the um, the the dumb football mm -hmm. player. Yeah. Um, he's definitely not. Uh, what's the word? The the generalization. Yeah. And Sarah but Beth. so he's been wanting to get a dog. He's been talking about it on news about wanting to get a dog, but his wife is oh, time is up. Reluctant. Oh, time is up. Okay, up. you wanna yeah, you, you yeah. can continue. I'm gonna go. It's time for me to go play garbage truck with Bella. A little bit. Or garbage pickup. Garbage pickup. We're gonna go play garbage pickup. Bella, it was actually garbage day today. Today it too. It is garbage day today. We already got our trash. Better go get some trash to pick up. Yeah. So you can go and and do that. <laughs> She's like, okay, let me go. Okay. All right, okay. Yeah. All right, love you. Yeah, so. Oh, no. But you'll be back, right? I'll be back soon. Yeah, sure. Love, love you guys. Oh, hey. All right. Uh, so, yeah, like Elizabeth was saying, um, big fans of Nate Burleson. And. Uh, oh, she, she is? Oh, awesome. Um, <laughs> we can work on it on our flight. Yay! Uh, so, uh, like Elizabeth said, he has really been wanting a dog for uh, their family. His wife is a little apprehensive. And so another anchor, uh, Natalie Morales, uh, yesterday 
uh, kind of put out, I think she put out a tweet or um, something on Instagram that just said that, you know, saying Nate really, really wants a dog for his family. Um, and so we're trying to convince his wife, blah, blah, blah. So um, we would love to have the opportunity to raise um, a dog for Nate Burleson. So if anybody can, um, yeah, I don't know, send out, um, make a tweet and, you know, tag him in it, uh, talking about. We're not big on Twitter. Yeah, we're not big on Twitter. Um, or, you know, if you do an Instagram uh, post and tag him in it, basically, if you just, like, make a, a post yeah, about uh, Red Barn Cavaliers and then tag him in it, um, his yeah. tag. What's nice is he can go on YouTube and, yeah. like, um, and just check out what, what we're all about. Yeah. Um, but he is, it's at Nate Burleson, N-A-T-E. Uh, Burleson is B U R L E S O N. Um, so if yeah, if anybody can, if anybody has a whiz at um, posting stuff on Instagram or Twitter and being able to get someone's attention, we would love the help because um, it's a lot different when it's you know one of you guys saying, "Hey, you should uh, look into." Uh, Red Barn Cavaliers, we had a great experience with them, or, you know, they seem to be a uh, nice family <laughs> trying to do uh, the best they can for raising Cavaliers and making wonderful ESAs, blah, 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 whatever you guys want to, you know, however you feel, um, please, please, we would, we would love the help. It's a lot different than if we, you know, send a message like, oh, hey, we raise dogs. So. <laughs> Anyway, um, let's see here. Uh, the first cabin. Let's see. Oh, uh, good morning, Diana. I'm trying to catch up now. Good morning. How nice to see you, Daisy. Once cuddle. Yeah, she always loves the cuddles. Big hugs from Elizabeth and Drew. Um, Kelsey Adams. Oh, I thought Remy was St. Bernard's size. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, Remy is uh, pretty big for uh, uh, a Cavalier, um, a female Cavalier. She is, she's not the heaviest, uh, but she is uh, pretty tall. Uh, Remy is our tallest uh, dog to the Withers, um, which is kind of kind of crazy because she's uh, got a female. Um, and then both Spike and Macchiato are very muscular. Uh, Macchiato is now, I'm pretty sure he's the heaviest. He's uh, like 22 pounds and he is uh, like rock solid. He's got a lot of muscle uh, in, his, in his legs in the back. And then he's pretty muscular in the, the, you know, the shoulders and chest area. So anyway, um, once... A cab owner, always a cab owner. Yeah, that's that's right, JS. It's uh, um, I will never go back. Um, it would take a lot for me to to get a dog from another breed. I just, I really do uh, love Cavaliers, and I grew up with with all all types of dogs, mutts and uh, yellow labs, golden retrievers, and um, when I was in high school, um, my dad really, really wanted a Great Pyrenees or Great Pyrenees. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen them. They're um, they're like flock protectors from the Pyrenees Mountains, and they're these giant white, they're you know, white fur, really long, thick coat, um, but they're huge. They can get up to be you know 150 pounds. Um, they're not like as tall as a uh, Great Dane. They're just huge. They're and they're meant to protect uh, um, flocks of animals from wolves. Um, really, really um, awesome dogs. But my dad really wanted one, and so for like his birthday or for Father's Day or something, my mom uh, got him one. And so growing up, um, we had uh, Great Pyrenees. I'm trying to think what else? Chocolate Labs. Um, I can't. I, we've had so many mutts uh, through the years, and mutts are great. They're great dogs. They really are. 
Hey, you're back. So I'm not yet. I'm finding candy garbage. Oh, I see. Wrappers for the trash. No, not wrappers. Chocolate. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. oh there's wrappers. There's some wrappers. This is candy to put in the trash cans. She's the marvelous. Oh, hey, it was brilliant. And uh, down down below, just some empty uh, empty oh. wrappers and stuff. Because that's what she just wrapped. Oh, yeah, wrapper. no. But I'm not looking for wrappers. Bella. Oh, Bella. She's uh, No, I'm not looking for wrappers. Let's see. So where was I? Oh, yeah, just all the different dogs that we have raised. And I just, uh, um, pit bulls, great danes, um, I think of what else. We had any, any other weird, um, I've been around huskies, um, yeah, I, 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 now I'm drawing a blank, but, uh, I had sworn off dogs, and then after Matthew passed away, and our uh, Elizabeth and our um, therapist convinced me to consider getting a dog, and so did the research and found uh, Cavaliers and have loved them ever since. Uh, when we got Missy, she was. Uh, she was wonderful. Uh, she's a she's an old soul. Uh, where even when she was a puppy, she was seemed really mature, um, and so that was that was helpful. Um, she she took to potty training really well. She took to commands really well, and she is like the when we when we say that she is the alpha female, she just bosses everyone <laughs> around. Uh, so it's it's really sweet. Uh, I really, I, I love Cavaliers. I don't think I, it'd be very, very difficult to to switch it up and, and get a different breed. You're a good girl, Daisy. Let's see here. Uh, it's because of your channel that I'm seeking a Cavalier. I have always had Cocker Spaniels. Oh, that's awesome, Susan. Well, thank you so much. That's, that's nice that we were able to, I mean, uh, it's nice to hear that um, you know us sitting here gabbing about about Cavaliers um, can have such a, a positive impact. I, I'm sure that once you uh, find the Cavalier that, that fits your family, I'm sure that it'll be you guys will be very happy, or that you'll be very very happy. Um, you for that example? Yeah, there you go, the girl Cadbury. I thought you were hungry. Um, uh, and where I mean, where where do you live, Susan? I guess, like if you are in the states. Um, oh, Jason is in, If you're in Wisconsin, Jason, holy smokes, you're just, you are real close to us. Um, but uh, and then you too, Susan. Like if it comes down to it, and you're you're interested in the Cavalier, and the timing's right, and, and we're having a litter, we would love. We would absolutely love to. Uh, raise uh, a puppy for you for the first eight weeks of their life, and then you know pass them along along to you guys. Um, it is it, it's a real uh, pleasure to you know raise the puppies and then uh, give them to their families. You know after uh, everything is said and done with. Um, when you hand over a puppy to the family that they're going home with, it really is an awesome feeling. It's a lot of, it's, there's a lot of happiness. Uh, you know, everyone always says like, oh, it must be so hard because you grow so attached to them. And it's like, yes, like, I love these guys. They are the cutest things ever. And, um, I wouldn't say that I get like so attached that I can't give them, you know, give them to their families because when they are born into this world, I know that they are going to be going to a home that they are going to get so much love from, and so I kind of just look at it as us as we are the shepherds bringing them from from Daisy to uh, through some training, get the you know some potty training going that's that's the one thing that uh, a lot of people always say is that they appreciate is the fact that potty training has been started when they come and get their puppies at eight weeks old um, 
it's you know one more thing that just makes them uh, I don't know, I don't want to say easy to manage, but it, it does make a difference. Like, and we've had families that come from uh, big cities, like they live in the city, like Chicago, or uh, we had a family from Miami, uh, or a couple that they lived in Miami, and they lived in like Miami, Miami, in a high rise apartment. And um, so having the uh, potty pan, um, makes a, a big difference, uh, with, uh, you know, where, where, where's the dog do its business? Uh, cause you don't want to have to take them outside every single time, especially if the weather sucks, if it's raining or storming or whatever, or if it's snowing when you're in Chicago, uh, it would stink to have to take the dog out. What's going on here? This is, but uh, so the, having the the litter pan. I keep doing that. I keep calling it litter pan. It's it is not cat litter. It's not cat litter. It's it's pine pellets. So we call it the the, the potty the potty pine, uh, the pine pan. Hey, what's up, Snickers? What's up, buddy? Snickers, Snickers, Snickers. Okay. I'm right there. There you go. Nice big old nipple for you. Um, but uh, having the uh, the potty tray uh, as, as a means for doing their business is uh, really uh, convenient. Let's see here. Uh Jesus. I always miss the chat as time as the time is on difference. Good luck to waiting families and new uh, puppies today. Oh, uh, that's nice of you, JS. In the uh, um yeah, so I, I guess we should remind everybody. So today is uh reservation day for uh Daisy's puppies. Um, like Elizabeth said, for the families that were trying to get into Remy's, um uh they're not uh they're going to have, you know, kind of like priority or whatever, but there really weren't that many families that, um, that were very serious that missed out. And not only that, but there are uh, a number of families that really just wanted, um, Blenheim girls. And so, um, if you don't have Blenheim girls, then they're not going to be that interested. Like there, there's I think a couple of families that, um, are, have said, you know what, we would like to have a tricolor girl. So, um, you know, that, instance it works out but we we uh, anticipate that there will be uh, a couple you know two or three uh pups uh that uh, don't have uh a remy family uh so you know those are like you know essentially uh, up for grabs uh, anyway let's see um. Uh, Macy, JS, all of your dogs were opposite, or all of my dogs were opposite of yours. We have had many different breeds, though. My favorite was a burner. I'm not, not uh, familiar with a burner. Maybe I might have to, or maybe I have to Google it here in a second, but uh, you want to inform me what a, what a burner is. Let's see. Heather says, Jason, when we drove down to pick up Chance, we stayed in Wisconsin Dells. That's right. They, uh, for anybody that doesn't know, uh, Heather is from Canada, and she was basically directly north of us. And so she drove uh, down uh, across the border into. Did you guys go through Wisconsin? Like. I have to look at it. You have to look at a map right now. Like, so you went, you went through Wisconsin and all that sort of jazz, and um, uh, so that was uh, Heather was our first international puppy. So Ch our Chance was the first international puppy. We we're happy to that Heather was able to to uh, come in and get Chance. Let's see. Let's see. I made an Instagram post and tagged you guys in it. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you, Heather. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. 
We'll see if that uh, gets any traction. We'll see where things go. Uh, Susan, that's why I'm hoping to get one of Daisy's I'm in Ohio. Oh, awesome, Susan. So I'm glad that you are, are in it. I'm sorry, like Elizabeth. Uh, I know that Elizabeth handles most of uh, the interaction with uh, families and stuff like that. She does pretty much all of the uh, the text messaging and, and emails and stuff like that. So uh, she does. she's really good at being able to Keep everyone straight and, um, and remember who is where and and uh, what uh, puppies they're interested in. So awesome, awesome. Hopefully everything works out okay, Susan. Uh, let's see. Oh, thank you. Yeah, and, uh, you all are so open and honest, and how you treat your dogs and puppies, and and so informative. Thank you so much. It's. Uh, um, I don't know, we've, this has been a, uh, uh, it's been a lot of work and a lot of, a lot of fun though, uh, raising the puppies and, uh, you know, we do our own research and try to get, uh, the best information possible on, um, uh, you know, the health and genetics of, of Cavaliers. And that's, I think that's what, um, uh, if you are ever in the market for, uh, any type of dog, and you're asking yourself um, if you're looking at a, a breeder and you're trying to, you, you want to make sure, oh, am I getting a dog from a reputable breeder? Uh, does this person really, uh, you know, do they really care about the health and well being of, of their uh, moms and dads? Um, a few things that you can kind of uh, look for is one, um, will they let you come to their house? Uh, or wherever they're raising uh, their their puppies. Uh, you know, for us, it's the house. I'm sure that there are some breeders out there that have their own uh, facilities and stuff like that. However, um, for us, we think it's really important that the uh, uh, sires and dams be uh, at home with the family because we want them to be awesome pets. And that's you know what we are, are breeding them for, is to be awesome pets and ESAs. And in order to do that, they need to be, or the, the moms and dads need to be around the family. So that's why we have them in our house. And so um, if you're you know looking at breeders and they won't let you come and see where they're raising the dogs, it could be a red flag. Um, Number two is if the breeder has a ton of breeds, if they're raising uh, or if they're, you know, if they're breeding uh, labs and uh, cavaliers and uh, German shepherds and great Danes and what, you know, whatever else, like if they have a whole bunch of uh, different breeds, that's kind of a red flag because, um, you know, usually that kind of screams puppy mill. Um, anyway, um, I'm sure there's one other one. I can't remember where it is. Uh, I guess it's also, um, are they, are they going to be in contact with you, um, after the puppies are born? That was the one thing that really, um, kind of, uh, I would say kicked us into, uh, or I shouldn't say kicked us, but, uh, kind of, uh, got us moving towards, um, breeding was the fact that uh, when we had picked out our puppy, we put down a deposit and then we didn't hear anything for basically the next six weeks. Um, and it was like pulling teeth in order to get like any update photos. And so we were just like, you know, uh, what if we got into, if, if, if we got into breeding, we would do it totally different because there's no excuse these days. You've got YouTube, which is free. You've got um, these things, these things right here. You can do FaceTime calls and whatnot. And it's, you know, it's, you already have it. So why don't you offer it to, to the families? Because we know that you guys want to see as much of them as possible. And so it's, again, that's, uh, it, where I was going with that was if a breeder isn't, doing those sorts of things, you know, maybe look for someone else. But, 
anyway, that's the that's I think that's why we uh, want to be we try to be as informed as possible. But in in all of that, we have tried to build our knowledge about Cavaliers specifically um, as much as we can because uh, we want to be uh, stewards of the breed. We want to try and improve the breed uh, the best we can. Oh, let's see. Okay, Susan, so Susan is in Ohio, and then JS is in uh, Wisconsin. Awesome. So, Cindy Jacob, JS, I got my first Kevin ATA too, after my friend got one, and I cannot think of having any other brief. Louis and Daisy's first pup, RBC, makes my fifth cabbie. Oh, you know, thanks, Cindy. Uh, uh, Cindy is one of our is uh, one of the families from um, uh, Daisy's uh, first litter, and so uh, we got to know Cindy, and uh, it was a lot of fun having having her come up from St. Louis. So that's where. Uh, my old cocker loved the rain, especially mud puddles. That's awesome, Thomas. Uh, oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. Thanks, uh, Heather. I was trying to think. I was like, I was like, I don't think Wisconsin is on the border of uh, uh, the U.S. and Canada. So yeah, yeah. So you went through Minnesota and then into Wisconsin. Uh, you say Wisconsin is not on the border. What's that? Did you say Wisconsin? Well, oh, no, I, well, I, uh, I was trying to think of the the route that she took because I, oh, I was, oh, I was okay. thinking, I was like, I don't think that she, they went directly into Wisconsin, but. Um, hey. I do think it would be kind of cool if you got a puppy being a national figure for him to be like, hey, anybody who wants to see my puppy can just go on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Like, how cool that would be. That would be kind of cool. cool. Um, Uh, let's see. So Jason Hoffman, uh, we are about 40 minutes from the Dells. You came right past our town, uh, on the interstate on your way to them. Ah, oh, we fine. could take him this puppy. Yeah, I know. When I... we go to the Dells for vacation. <laughs> yeah, vacation. <laughs> That'd be nice. But J uh, JS, yeah, <laughs> uh, JS is in, um, uh, Wisconsin. Oh. JS is in Wisconsin and then Susan is in Ohio. Susan? Susan. Yeah, Whitgill. Did I say that right? What Whitgill? It looks like it could be Wet and Gel. Wet and Gale? Uh I'm actually gonna start making it back to the holes. Oh, that's a yeah, that's a good uh good one, Heather is uh, uh do they give you a cell phone number? I was talking about um you know, red flags uh, on if you're getting a dog from a reputable, like a, a good breeder. And she says, oh, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, Anybody they're wants personal. to throw out some other yeah. things we haven't mentioned or thought of, please do share. Um, one thing I like to mention is that a good breeder, um, families love to rave about um, their breeders if they're a good one. And so if you're talking to a breeder and trying to evaluate, um, their, I guess, if you want like an honest um, impression of them, ask them if you can talk to any of their previous families because yeah. if they're a good breeder, they will have no problem finding a family that would love to talk to you. Uh, yeah, exactly. 
And so that's like that's probably like one of the that's... easiest ways to screen because if they have any hesitancy, if they're like, oh, well, I don't know if yeah. anybody would want to, like just then I would just be wary. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's a really good one. Because we're I've... always happy to if somebody asks if they can talk to a family, we're always like, oh yeah, okay. yeah, <laughs> sure. we, will, we will give you all sorts of names. We'll give you all sorts of references. But and, yeah, that's a that's that's another good one. So because I gave them the you know, uh, are you allowed to go and see where they're being raised? Um, yeah. Will they? Like, they're like, did you talk about how readers are moving away from that? How they're not letting people come over? Yeah. Yeah. COVID. yeah. That yeah. and then. Um, it's like after COVID, they got kind of spoiled, spoiled with exactly not That's having it. to accommodate families. Exactly. And now it's like they don't want to go back to it. Yeah. Uh, then I also said uh, multiple breeds. Yeah. Um, and then the other Especially one. so. I'm sorry. I keep interrupting. I'm so sorry. And the last one was just, uh, will they uh, like send photos and do like you know do the FaceTime yeah. stuff because there's no excuse for it these days. So um, anyway. the thing about um, the multiple breeds, especially with Cavaliers, is that because of the the health concerns in the breed, um, and not just because of that, but it's one of the big things for Cavaliers, especially, is that. You want a breeder who is like committed to not like knowing, learning as much as they can about um, what they can do to help mitigate those risks. And if they're focusing on um, three or even two breeds, that's a lot of information that they have to be able to like um, differentiate between. And um, it's some some breeders will you know start like if they did Cavaliers and then they start doing cavapoos like that wouldn't be so like as a yeah, two breed right. sort of thing um but yeah, if there's a breeder who does like cavaliers and german shepherds i've seen that before they're so different yeah. that they um i would just i'm not saying that any of those breeders are bad i'm just saying that um if you are looking for a quality breeder i would just look for one who focuses on the breed that you're interested in because they're it's just it's human nature they're going to be um it's just going to be easier for them to be kind of on top of the latest about Cavaliers. Uh, so JS, you asked how far away we are from Madison, Wisconsin. We are like exactly three hours uh, from, from Madison. And we have actually had, what? Oh, two? Pluto's in Madison. Yeah, well, I thought we had, was there another one? There? Oh, and uh, Pluto's in Madison, and then they ran into somebody in like Madison, Wisconsin, yeah. and then that family came and adopted. Yeah, we've had a Who couple. Did they get? The, I'm trying to remember because they, they tried to get, they, oh they got a full sibling to Pluto yeah to Pluto they wanted they wanted an exact yeah. replica of, of Pluto which is uh, funny because Pluto was one of the puppies that we um, didn't struggle to sell but he was one of the last to get picked yeah and he ended up being one of the best of the entire litter <sighs> yeah Pluto was awesome but um because Pluto was Robin. No, he was Missy. Missy, that's right. Okay, so yeah, it was Missy and Missy's Split. second letter. Yeah, Missy's from second, Missy's second letter. He um, went home a year ago, in yeah. January. Yeah, in January. But he got picked up, and then while his uh, family was taking him for a walk, and they're they were like in a park or like a you know a, a festival or something like that, another couple, uh, an older couple, saw him, and they're like, "Oh, what kind of dog is is he?" And blah blah, blah. and they. Uh, uh, I think they had our cards on yeah, them, Pluto's, so they gave them cards. exactly. Pluto's family had one of our cards. They gave it to them, and so then they got in touch with us, and then they ended up uh, getting uh, a puppy oh, from Missy's next letter. Oh, it was um, gray collar from last summer. It was Reggie. Reggie, yep, Reggie. That's it. Yeah. So Reggie went uh, went to another family in Madison, Wisconsin. So it's uh, Madison, Wisconsin has a number of RBC dogs. Uh, that number. <laughs> Okay, and and a, couple, a couple, a couple, two. two. If you were to get one, then it'd be a number. <laughs> then it'd be three. So, um, uh, yeah, that's uh, would not be outside the bounds of uh, possibility. And we'll, we also will meet. Yeah, we'll and, meet. yeah. Well, if you, if you need help, we can uh, you know meet you somewhere, meet you halfway, something like that. So, um, let's see. Oh, oh, no, oh, thank you, Heather. You pointed that out. So, yeah, uh, I'm sorry. JS is from uh, British Columbia. Um, oh, that changes things. But, no, Jason Hoffman 
is from Wisconsin. I'm sorry. Thank you, Heather. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Tiffany M. Being in New Hampshire, it looks like the drive to your area would be about 17, 18 hours. Can you explain what our transport would look like to bring a puppy home with us? So, um, if you were to drive um, and you were to take, you know, you, if you wanted to come to our area to um like, we've driven distances and flown so we kind of yeah well, yeah we, the, we've had experience doing it yeah we've had experience doing doing both either uh, driving or flying with with puppies and you know, like we said we could meet you halfway um um we they could do really well yeah yeah they do uh cavaliers do really really well except macchiato he did not do well traveling yes yeah um <laughs> Yeah, he, he was yeah he was the, he was <laughs> crying the entire day he was whining, yeah but um usually they when they are eight weeks old if you if it's you and um uh, your spouse uh one of them can hold them and they will they would love nothing more than to just chill in your lap the entire drive and so that's really just up to you like um uh stopping and you know staying the night somewhere that sort of stuff um we usually use um the rule of they can hold their bladders for one hour of every month they are old so if a puppy is two months old they can probably hold their bladder for about two hours and so we usually uh, recommend to families, hey, you know, every hour and a half, offer them. Start at an hour and a half yeah. and then kind of see how they are from there. Yeah, exactly. Um, are you saving, or is this here for a uh, reason? Are you using it as a bag? Um, I, have, can, I have some other big bags yeah. that I wanted to use. Yeah, if you, I mean, if you want to use it as a trash bag, that's fine. I was just... Uh, or should it be a um, I mean, disposal for the four seasons? Right? No, we've got plenty of the. I've been using the old uh, food bags, but I was keeping that so I could show families like, hey, oh, this is what we use. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. These are the pellets. Um, and we should also get the guardian ones that we have both. Ooh, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, that's all right. So, um, so yeah, if you're driving, then you'd probably have to pull over every hour and a half to two hours. Uh, just to give them the opportunity to go pee and poop. And again, you can also... I will say that when we picked up Paris and Pom Pom, it was a 14-hour drive. And um, as long as they were sleeping, we just kept it driving. And yeah. I think we stopped about every three hours. Yeah, so... So, um, you can... like, you don't have, if they're sleeping, you don't need to stop and pull over and right. wake them. And if they're, make them go. Yeah, yeah if they're... Um, a lot of times, they'll just sleep straight through. They're, um, I brought... Um, who did I bring home? Uh, Remy. Oh, I brought right. Remy home, and that was well, like a nine hour drive, seven yep. nine hour drive. And um, I think we slept once, we only slept once that whole drive. We potted her before going. Oh, that's from Iowa, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, as long as they're sleeping, and if it's been you know, you check your watch, it's been over two hours, and they're still sleeping, just keep driving. And oh, on yeah. pickup day for each puppy. Uh, we limit their water intake, and we do feed them a little bit because when you feed them, it activates their bowels, and so they'll it'll help them get out their morning poop. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so we do feed them just a little bit to help um, evacuate their poop. Yeah, in the um, morning. But not much more than that because we don't want them to have to go the whole ride. Exactly. And, then, um, and we kind of like with surgical patients, we um, stop their water after midnight the night before, <laughs> night before. so that their bladder is not filling up. And, yeah. Because then in the morning they'll still go potty, you know, from previous days yeah, intake, yeah. but it should be pretty clean. Pretty it should be pretty minimal, yeah, through through the drive, and then they can have all the water they want when yeah. they get home. Yeah, so it, that that's usually the the game plan that we give people for when they're they're driving. Now flying, 
Uh, again, still the whole um, one and a half to two hours is the same deal. Again, if they're sleeping, just let them sleep through it. Um, and usually what we recommend and what we will do is we will give you a uh, like a little sandwich bag of the uh, pelletized pine uh, pellet things. Yeah, pelletized uh, pine bedding. We'll give you basically a small sandwich bag and then also um, some of the little... Uh, the sam the, so the sandwich bag, um, so we give you the, the, next one, the whole like, big bag, but the sandwich yeah. bag for flying, what we recommend is um, that sandwich bag is for you to have out with you. Yeah. And then um, if you're in the airport, we suggest go using the family bathrooms and laying down um, a piddle pad. Yeah. And you just sprinkle some of the pellets on the piddle pad and they'll smell them. They'll go potty on the piddle pad. And then you can just lift it up and, you know, wrap it up oh, and right. throw it in, yeah. in the garbage. Yeah. And so that's in the airport. Um, that way you're not, because they do have like doggy potty areas, but they're disgusting. <laughs> and um, you don't want to take your fresh new puppy into one of those. And, but, and there's the, that's, the, I guess the big thing is that um, if you're flying, you can take your uh, eight week old puppy on the plane with you. Um, you have to. Yeah, you shouldn't check, you shouldn't check them. Yeah, don't check them. Don't check, check your doggy. Um, you can get, uh, you want to grab the, um, Our carrier? yeah, the carrier. The yeah, it's in there. It's in the, uh, underneath your clothes. Uh, you can get a, a soft carrier that is uh, about the same size as like a, a roll on, um, case or whatever. Yeah, here it is. This one is $33 on Amazon. Yeah, this is the one that Elizabeth is using. Actually, this is a, oh, this is the, this is the latest and greatest one. It's their new, you know, version 2.0 or whatever, but it's, it is really nice. It's soft. So it's, you know, it can fold down into a bag for when you fly here to, to, uh, it's got a little like pooch. luggage. Wait, yeah. this is the side of the pocket. So, luggage thing is on the side. Yeah, yeah. So if you got a roll. Oh, in. and the other one didn't have these clips. Oh, so you can clip to yeah, it. Yeah, nice. I even clipped. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, I think I told you, version two point is was nice. <laughs> um, and this comes it comes with a travel water dish, but yeah. we send all the puppies home with any sort of travel needs. So we give yeah. you a little, um, a folding water water dish and a bottle of water to take with you, um, to fill it up with to try to. Minimize how difficult the stops might be. Yeah, uh, but so you contact the uh, the airline beforehand, and you tell them that uh, you are picking up a, a puppy and then flying home. Um, we've had a number of families that have uh, they will um, they'll fly in. We'll meet them at the airport, and we really, really recommend you flying into the airport that is near us. It's uh, Bloomington Regional Airport. The next closest airport is an international airport, so you go from, like, small and cozy to huge and crazy. Huge and so crazy. we really recommend the small and cozy. Yeah, we recommend the small and cozy because it's it's got, what, four gates? And yeah, it's one terminal and four gates. Yeah, it's one terminal, four gates. Uh, you can come uh, out of the uh, uh, you know, the secure area um, where the gates are, and we can meet you there, do the paperwork and all that sort of stuff, and then you can go right back around and go through security up to the gates and catch the next flight to, um, usually it's like you make a connection with Chicago Hair or... Um, What's I mean before there were there were all sorts of different connections like you could you could do a straight flight down to like Orlando, um, Las Vegas, um, where else? Uh, Chicago Hair is a big one, and then from Chicago Hair you can go anywhere. Um, but it, oh, does it does it fly from here to Midway? Oh no, I don't think it's going to Midway. Yeah, but the, uh, Detroit that was one that we made the connection with was from here to Detroit. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, like. Dallas. Oh, Dallas. There you go. That's the big one. Um, so, yeah, you can uh, fly into Bloomington Regional, and it is it is really, really convenient. Um, but we have, we've had people where they've you know had a, a one-hour layover where they get their puppy, and then they go back and get on the next flight. Or we've had people come and um, stay the night at the hotel that's across the street from the airport, and it's 
Um, which has been reported to be a lot of fun to come get their puppy and take them back to the hotel and not yeah. have to worry about travel, but just, yeah. especially when it's a couple yeah, and or family even, and they get their puppy and take them back to the hotel and just get to like play with them. Cause we provide lots of toys and blankets and comfort items. So you have everything you need for them. Oh, sure. I think we need dogs. Oh. <laughs> they have not had Well, I, I fed Daisy this morning. Did I? Was it yesterday morning? No, I think it was this morning. So I, then I put the bowls down for the puppies. I. Uh, let's see. Was the Krabby Patty gross? No, he looked one bite. Good morning, Kathy. Nice to see you. Uh, sorry, we're kind of like all over the place. My dogs bet all have calves. Oh. Uh, this is JS. Oh, thank you, JS. Uh, so he says that they all say to just get a local cavalier, but I don't think I can after this transparency, including the birth. So thank you so much, oh. Jess. That like that really does mean a lot to that us. That does mean a lot. Can you read that again? So he says, my dogs vet all have calves. Uh, they say just get local cavalier, but I don't think I can after this transparency, including birth. Wow. So that that is like that's really big thank you so much that means oh. a lot to us to say that on our last letter on paris's letter enzo um when his uh, mom took yeah. him home their vet is kind of the same way their vet only has cavaliers and um and she was really excited to take enzo into their vet because of because the vet knew cavaliers so well and I guess they have a local Cavalier breeder, and a lot of people in that area have Cavaliers that just come from that breeder, and it's kind of like an insular sort of thing. Um, and when she took Enzo in, she, she told me that she was doing a little happy dance because yeah, he told right. her that Enzo was the picture of good health and um, temperament and markings, and, um, and he asked for our cards to have at the front desk. Um, because I guess like the Cavalier breeder, I don't know if there's just like some shakiness or I didn't, I didn't ask and I don't want to say anything bad about any, any other breeder, but, uh, uh, but that was, mom, yeah, right? that was, a Enzo's, Enzo's mom, mom was yeah. like over the moon to know that she has the best Cavalier in town, in town. Um, confirmed by the vet who sees all the Cavaliers. Yeah. And that, that her, her vet wanted our cards so that he could, you know, reach you out to, people or, to yeah. so. that was that was such an awesome compliment. Yeah. You are so darn cute. I need to turn this so you guys can see how cute they are. My chops falling. I get this pulled over. Oh, and we need to start the live on the other. I'm not going to. Daisy, when she has puppies, she's always got that one ear flipped back. Never had a fair she's got an ear flipped back. You're the dog girl. Look how snuggly your babies are. Do any of our dogs have ear issues? Um, no, they don't have any ear issues. We just need to clean them. It's pretty common. Daisy's ears are, she naturally has very clean ears. Um, but it's pretty common um, for dogs who have the longer floppy ears because they're um, they're hanging down and they're they're covering their exposure to like air. Things get trapped. Um, it's hard for wax to work its way out, and so just kind of part of like the grooming. Like um, a lot when we do like toenail trims and brushing, um, 
we have this solution that is really great. It's um, you kind of you just squirt it in her ears and kind of rub it around, and it loosens up all the gook. And um, <laughs> sorry, Daisy. Daisy doesn't have to go through it often because her ears are so awesome. She's got very clean ears. Um, but it's pretty common uh, in cavaliers to just need to clean their ears, um, just as part of like their hygiene. Did you move, Daisy? No. You're a good girl. I'll set up the Remy stream on using the computer and then start it. I'm just gonna get a photo for the thumbnail.
crazy. I'm so crazy. All right, I'm working on the thumbnail for uh, Remy's litter. I always want to call it Robin's litter. So if you hear me say Robin's litter, I mean Remy. I think it's all the blooms. You know, I haven't seen him yet this morning. I know, she was up really early. Bella sleeps in until like 9.30 these days. She's such a good sleeper. Which is funny because all of our kids before her were terrible sleepers and then we had Bella and she loves her bed. <laughs> Who's thumping their tail? What's that? Somebody's thumping their tail. Oh, that must be Daisy. Right. You hear that? Yeah. Yeah. What's the weather supposed to be like today? Um, I don't know yet. Going to be fire today. No, I think it's the bed. Checking out the comments. I'm trying to set up uh, oh, okay. a stream. I'm You're, uh, Tiffany, if you're still on, you're very welcome for all the uh, the helpful helpful travel information. We uh, 
I love to help folks out with all this fun, sort of fun stuff. We were once there as first timers, and it's very intimidating if you haven't done it before. Oh, see you, Heather. I'm sorry for missing you. So it was a while ago, though. Oh, Kathy Corey, we fly with Olaf every month. Aww. He does great. Olaf is Olaf is amazing. We have to He's call such it, a good boy. Uh, we have to call the airline when we book. Some airlines have restrictions on the number of pets on board. Delta charges ninety five dollars for your pet to fly. Thanks, Kathy, for all the information for everybody. That was really, really that was really kind of you. Take the time to type all that out. Oh, uh, Catherine says hello to the RBC family. Elizabeth, you, uh, I remember you mentioned Daisy is your love, and you may keep one of her pups. Have you decided which one? If it's a personal secret, she completely understands. Oh, we're not going to keep one from this litter. Yeah, we're well, right. it'll be when, um, it'll be when, uh, probably when it's her last or second to last litter. If I were to keep one from this litter, though, it would be Starburst. <laughs> if you if you're curious, I would be keeping Starburst just because she reminds me so much of Daisy, um, and she's nice and dark like Daisy. Um, she's gonna have I think her face is gonna be similar to Daisy's, other than you know freckles. Um, but she's I think she's gonna be a lot like Daisy. So if I were to keep one, if I was allowed to keep one, I would keep her. Okay. I think what's really cool about her markings too is her butt. I just think that looks really neat. Uh, Tiffany M says, Daisy with her pups is so sweet. Thank you for sharing this precious time with us. Well, you guys are welcome. When we first started streaming them, we were, um, we like, we, it's hard to leave them when they're, when, especially when they're awake and they're being so sweet. It's hard to leave them, and so that's kind of where the idea to put them on YouTube kind of came from. Well, I mean, at first it was to allow our families to see them, but when we started unmuting live stream and kind of made it, because we used to, we didn't even leave it unlisted, it was still public, but we didn't really share the link, we didn't promote it at all, we just um, set the link each day to families, and we didn't like, um, we didn't make it anything fancy. There was no editing, um, no and so I'm. We're really glad that you guys are able to see how sweet and just scrumptious they are. Scrumptious. Um, Michelle Vicky, Michelle and Vicky. Yeah, no, Michelle and Vicky. Uh, uh, they've just got hi all. Good morning. Hey, Michelle and Vicky. Good morning, you guys. All right, I'm going to be starting the Remy stream in a minute. Um, Probably when she's five. We don't want to breed them much older than like seven. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's what we're saying? Like six or seven. Seven litters. Yeah, seven litters total. So, yeah. So her seven footer will be her last, and this is her third. So she potentially has four, four left. Are you digging? Are you digging? Oh, this is going to be a cute screen or a cute thumbnail. What's up? This thumbnail turned out better than I expected. Oh, dang, that's cute. That's awesome. Look at this bird. Bueno. I'm going to get puppy frogs fed. Um, we're, sorry, we're kind of walking away. Um, reservations begin in an hour and 20 minutes. So Drew and I are kind of, we're starting yeah. to kind of gear up for that. Yeah. It's a very busy afternoon for us. So, but we will keep the live streams all updated for families. Um, as the reservation process gets underway. I still need to try this go back the other time. Oh, you know what? 
too. Oh, God, it's so busy. I just don't come out. I know. Uh, yeah, we didn't have an, an hour and 20 minutes. T minus no, 80, minutes. 80 minutes. 81 minutes. Uh, yeah, no, 80 just, minutes and a half. 80, 80, yeah. 80 no, minutes. now it's 79 and 40 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So, like, <laughs> minutes, yeah. so, like, so, so hi, everybody. And if you're interested, we're at T minus. 80 minutes roughly, um, 79. 79 and some change. But uh, if you are interested, we've got a little over an, an hour. hour to get your message prepped and ready to rock and roll. Excuse me. We're so excited to find out who their families are going to be. Tilt this down a little bit so that Drew doesn't walk over here naked again. Um, Silver Stitches, if you were to get a puppy from us, um, I'm not sure um, quite exactly what you're asking, but I think I know. So if what we would not be expecting for you to pay for us to bring your puppy. So like if we, if you wanted, if you got a puppy from us and you're in another country and we were bringing your puppy to you, we would be making a trip out of it ourselves. And so we would not be asking you to cover those expenses. Um, we can write them off as business costs. So, um, yeah, don't, we would not, that's not something we would expect you to pay for because we can write them off as it's a tax deductible thing since we're an LLC. Happy Monday, Michelle and Vicki. I think this was the question she asked, but I'm not sure. She said, this is from Summer Stitches, so in the UK. Uh, so theoretically, if I were to get a puppy from you, would I be expected to pay for bed and board as well as airfare for the privilege of having one of your dogs? And so I told her no, because we would be making a trip of it. And that we'd be writing those expenses off as business expenses anyway. Oh, if we were to like, take the... Yeah, like if we were to... Yeah. yeah. I'm just making sure that that's, that's what you think too, because I feel that, like that would not be... It would be a, I mean, for us, yeah, for us, we would, we would claim it as a business expense, and yeah. We would be doing it, we wouldn't be going somewhere. Right, exactly. We wouldn't go there just to deliver a puppy. It would be more than that, for us. Definitely need to do some planning though. Like it can't just be. Oh yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't be the next letter. Yeah, we, we couldn't do like you couldn't put in a request for a baby right now and, <laughs> and hope that it works out on May twenty eighth. Oh man. <laughs> oh, holy.
She's a very dedicated ESA.
Hey, Daisy Doodle Doodle. No, I guess so much better. There they are. Oh, Mike and Susie, I love you. No, in here. That was my AirPods. Yeah, I know. Isn't that great?
It's okay, sweetie. They're not coming in here. It's okay, sweetie. We're not coming in here. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh, Tara, we would love to raise a puppy for you. Aw, Silver, that was a really nice thing to say. We, we used to mute the stream because we were so, um, like, we were so shy. As far as, like, the background interactions that you guys could overhear. Um, but it, we found that um, not being able to hear the puppies, like, squeak and... Like it took away a lot of the context and it's a lot more difficult to um, appreciate it. And so we unmuted it and um, and just slowly got more comfortable and found that um, there were a lot of really great people that were finding us.
goodness. Baby Doodle, why don't you come in here, sweetie? Starburst is crying for you. Hopefully Starburst gets any name soon. Okay, <laughs> Sorry, she notified the whole clan. I have the camera on inside the pool and it plants really well into the, the bedding. It's like really stable. Oh, Wendy. Thank you for the nice nice comment. Thanks for coming back. We love getting to know you guys. We um we uh, I might I like I was explaining to Drew the other day that um we remember who everybody is. We remember who your dogs are. Um the only thing is that I might if it's been a while since we've talked about your dog, I might start um missing exactly who they belong to but i know that nisha has a biscuit and biscuit is a blenum and um that one i will never forget because she was the first one who's um who i like it really inquired about and when we first unmuted our stream and um so it just sticks out in my head because i remember saying like thinking what an awesome name that it's for a blenum um, because biscuits are, I think, when I think of a biscuit, I think of blenum colors. Um, and Silver Stitches is getting, and Silver Stitches is getting Nisa, and, um, uh, sorry, I was thinking about, um, some people that we haven't seen in a while. Um, but Diana and Kelly, I know Diana has Kelly, who is a tricolor. Um, and so we just we love getting to know everybody. And so for those who are comfortable in the chat, we love getting to know you. Um, for those who are not so comfortable, we are still happy to have you. We know that there's um, a pretty significant portion of our audience who doesn't engage in the chat. I think it's like 60% at least. Um, and so uh, we've come to really, really enjoy how our channel has evolved. You know, it started as a link for families to just, you know, keep an eye on their puppies like a baby monitor. Um, this turned like it warped into this whole community of people who love dogs and a lot of people who love Cavaliers specifically. Hi, Lisa. They were hungry. And Daisy was just sitting right outside the pool next to her food dish, so I put it up. She wasn't eating it. She was just guarding it. She prioritizes her food over her puppies sometimes. Your food's kind of tricky coming from that end. Oh, I was starting to make a list of puppies so that we are prepared. Because we have a certain order of people who, when they do get in contact with us, um, whoever they choose, they're in that order. Mm -hmm. 
gives me a fancy heavy pen. So I don't know what it is mine. I'll put that. Hey, bud. Good morning.
love you. I love you both. Sorry, I'm kind of sorry, I was trying to pull this right here. You know, that's a good chance of popping my head down. I'm sorry. I love you both. Daisy Doodle, where'd you go? Daisy, come on, your babies are crying. Come on, I'm sorry, you've got a mom. You've got a mom right now. <coughs> Do you need something, sweetie? Can you go outside? Can you go outside? Were they? No. Okay, well, I guess they're happy now. What do you want, sweetie? What's up? Baby, travel? Travel with your mom?
Oh, boy. Twenty minutes. Oh, yeah, nice. Thank you.
Yes. <laughs> so, you know when my dad doesn't pick my phone at night? Um, That's because I, it was me who went up and I just decided to put my head like, I don't know. Yeah, do you know whenever I have, I keep my phone at night and, and, um, I sleep with it and, um, the next morning I have to find it and, and it's never oh, plugged in. I'm sorry, so it's bad. You don't, you don't have that. You don't have to leave it in the room. This time, it was under my new Squishmallow, and it was plugged <laughs> in. Oh, that's awesome. <clears throat> and I was so oh, um, Dad went up last night, so that was Dad. He plugged it in. Oh. I'm surprised he left it. Sorry guys, the camera just popped off because I spin it so much that I accidentally spun it off the screw. Has Lori eaten her skittle ones yet? I think she's working on it. Oh yeah, um, I think she's done with it because um, I saw her like having her skittle mm -hmm. bottom of her egg and spinning it on her face. so hard to grab when you have smooth hands at the time. Because whenever I read a book and I flip pages, I always have smooth hands after. Mom, do you know why? Why? No, do you know why um, our fingers get smoother after you read a book?
see your babies. Come on, go see your babies. Go see your babies. Daisy, go see your babies. Come on, go see your babies. Go see your babies. Daisy, come on. Go see your babies. See, um, Daisy is doing what I have talked about where she um, she starts burning herself out because she doesn't like to leave her puppies ever. And um, before we brought her out into our bedroom, she never left them. She just stayed in the tub with them constantly. And we would try to bring her out, but she just was so, it would stress her out further um, to separate her. And so we didn't separate her. Um, but she's burning out now, and so that's why we try to um, provide them a lot of me time and self care during the first two weeks. Because if we don't, then they burn out like she is, where she doesn't just stay with them. And even when she hears them cry, she won't immediately come unless I tell her to. Yes.
All right, everybody, so every puppy has been claimed. Yeah, everybody's been paired. All the puppies have been paired, and um, each family got their first choice except for one. Which, that's pretty That's impressive. amazing. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Do we have names already? Or? We've got some names. We've got some names? Awesome. So what was the, uh, how fast was this one? When did the last puppy you get claimed? The parents who got the first choices or second picks were already chosen by the person who made their first pick. Oh, and their first pick. Man. Which was opposite to last time. Right. That was awesome. Sent us a text message. Uh, we'll be getting back to you. Yeah, we'll be getting back to you on on if you uh, if you were able to, to claim a puppy.
it's like two things. So even if little bunny family comes in and just like a little we can't have you done for her as well. So that can help.
Jesus is trying to snuggle with me. Come see your babies. Come see your babies. I think it's Snickers. Is it a... Daisy, lay down. So this is the my office is my my spot in the bed. Oh yeah. Uh, this is where like when I get my things like feet. Oh. Because I'm like I use it to do this stuff. Yeah, I'm so bad. Yeah, there's nowhere to like go. If we had an office, would you you'd be okay with sitting? I'd be in the office. Yeah. Door closed. Because this is the only place to come where it's quiet. Glass door back in there, or would you want to keep the wood door? I would keep the wood door so that if I come to the end of the city, I'm not trying to be so. Oh, you like my pen, do you?
Okay, wagging the toes is not going to make you give me my thing. It's use my vision.
outside. What? What's that? Your bubbles. Your bubbles are in the um, your bubbles.
You know how we can start prioritizing how we can start prioritizing families who miss out is to use the money this way where we prioritize the families who missed out into the next year because of how they the preferences work out because um we have more people. And so we just need to you know, that that's kinda of as we go. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So then like so it's still first and first serve, but there is a bit of a priority. People who submitted requests and missed out on things, we were going to prioritize it on in the next little bit. So, please don't run through the house. It's about to all excited. Remy, Remy, it's okay. It's Remy. This is just, no, this is just a, this isn't a very nice yo-yo. This is kind of a, a, a cheap toy for me. Yeah. 
Um, we have some names already. We got three names. It looks like each puppy has a family. Most, um, most of the um, or all but one puppy, um, their family. It was their the family got their first choice. 
So for the families who got puppies, they got their first choice in all but one case. So um, that was that's awesome. Um, I just finished sending out um, responses. And once Drew comes back, I wanted to share names. Well, I'm not sure where, where Drew is, but I wanted to share names. Um, so Miss Cadbury is going to be Pippi, P-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Uh, Starburst is going to be Jenna, J-E-N-N-A, Jenna. I love that. Uh, um, and Snickers is going to be Mr. Darcy. <laughs> I love your guys' names. They're the best.
Oh, hey there, Shalini. Oh, I hope I didn't miss you. Oh, and I have one more name. One more name. Um, um, whatchamacallit? His name is Indiana and Indy for short. How cute is that? You guys, I swear, you guys have much, so much cute, better names than we could ever come up with. This is why we um, stopped uh, doing, we stopped um, nicknaming them for a while because we would just wait for your guys' fantastic names since ours blew. I'm very organized this time around.
I love your goblin. It is so cool. I I picked blue and pink. And my favorite color is the monkey star and one of your favorite colors, my pride blue. I did. I got some nature.
You should do the toothbrush app. Download the toothbrush app. It's called Hum. Hey, 
Bella, you should download the, the toothbrushing app.
seem to be slightly crazy. Did you say that, Mom? No. Where is? I do not know. I don't see them. Come here, Mom. Look at my pose. They're so silly.
I did the same thing for Maine by putting a blue egg in the blue center for the outside of the playhouse. And it was one of the last eggs that got yeah. in there in 2020. Yeah. I know. I did. did you see it in there? Oh, uh, yeah. Where she found it? Um, yeah, I told you and Dad that she still hasn't uh, um, saw it or seen it. She still hasn't seen it. Yeah. It was so funny. Same with the one inside the house. You know, I originally put one for each of you in there, but I knew that if you saw yours, then I you know, maybe it's gonna look, but if you just walked out, then you maybe didn't think it look. <clears throat> I had to check under the chair, though. I had to. Because <laughs> that, that would be a really hard spot to see. I was afraid some people do that. I love you, Mom. I love you too. That bath house looks really good on you. Mm-hmm. I want to bed next to you. Yeah, it's all in there. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. I wonder if we're going to tell everybody how um our Easter lunch ends. Like, um, when, the when we had spring break and we came back, Mr. Philhaw did a 10 second thing to tell um, what you did over spring over break. 10 seconds? Wow. You had 10 seconds to say it. Wow. And, and I said pass because there was like, because we did like nothing. Hmm. But spring the, break? Or spring break, we delivered puppies. What? We said we had puppies. But this time I'm doing, like, um, I got a, I got a game called Eating Slay with Peanut Crumb and Crumples. Um, <laughs> I got a huge. It's model called Kwame. Um, Kwame, it's a walrus, and um, <laughs> I can't, I can't remember the other one now. I think I'm good. Oh, you got three dollars worth of coins and two dollars. I got a ton of dollar wrenches too. I love dollar wrenches. They're yummy, yummy. More in your eggs, more diamonds in your eggs, and um, those. Yeah. Things like that. Mm-hmm. Have you been eating Twizzlers? Huh? Have you been eating Twizzlers? Mm-hmm. Good. <laughs> There's a ton of Twizzlers in there. Mom, so, when you said that you thought there were some Kit Kats in the bottom, I shoved my hand in there and searched for Kit Kats, but there were no Kit Kats. There is. Two, there's like teeny tiny bitty. They're like the mini ones. They were just slightly too big to fit into the eggs. But they're in there. Mom, when I find my school egg, I want to tell you what's inside. So when you open it, it's um a green egg that um I can't remember. Oh, it, it's the green egg that had the smarties in it. When you open that one, you have the yeah, my yellow egg from the Easter egg hunt. When you open that one, you have a Hershey egg. A fuck one. Yeah, I saw that when you gave it to him. There's one in the basement, Mom. Oh, I think you might be in the garage, but don't go out there by yourself, okay? Why? Why, Mom? Why, Mom? You probably don't want them to go down there by yourself. Can you go out there? Can you see that? Woo! 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 Woo!
Yeah, I'm coming. 